Hello, everybody. This is episode... Uh-oh, I forgot the number again. 35. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> this is episode 35, Folk Girl. Um, we'll have music on in a second. We're looking for the right song. But, there is... Uh, there's. Okay, go ahead, Tubby. What were you going to say? Oh, we have a new thing to put on the table. Oh, oh, yeah. I actually didn't know what you meant. But yes, this is correct. I guess we should start with new art on that note. Here's some art from last session. We'll recap last session in a second. Um, I'll, I'll wait. Give me a second, uh, Tom. I'm going to wait. I'm going to do a few more things first, and then we'll go to that one, because that's the best picture, so we'll save it for last. Um, nice. Yeah. But I have some other stuff, too, like this. Uh, here's a little doodle that, uh, well, let's see, who did this? Oh boy, let me pull up my little list of people again. Hero of the Eevee did this, the, uh, it was between sessions he did this. Just a little uh, whiteboard drawing? I think, I think it's a whiteboard. Yeah. So there you go. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, we also have a couple things here from Serio. Uh, I don't know if he was playing on finishing these and doesn't want them shown, but too bad. Haha, I'm showing them, Serio. Wait, can you, you can't stop me. I think he posted them early because he wasn't sure if he was going to finish them, so, uh, here we have a camping. We actually have two pictures for this. Two different pictures. We have a camping scene, and then we also have... Oh, uh, it's really good. They did a really good job on Lizard. More there. of a camping scene. <laughs> the angry face. <laughs> I noticed that a distinct lack of Ralph, though. <laughs> You an angry face over here. We cooked him. <laughs> well, during during this scene, wasn't I like going and getting berries, or was this while I was getting my butt kicked by the zebra? I cannot remember. I thought Tucker was with you with the zebra situation or Zepstrika situation. Was it Zepstrika or Zeprika? This is a non-canon situation, it, so this, probably this, not. Yeah, actually, you're right. This is just a random camping scene, so. <laughs> But yes, no snacks, but Tucker really wants snacks. He's even drooling about it. Actually, there's no snacks on this in the first place, so... Ralph Tucker probably, is kind of jumping the gun there. <laughs> Ralph probably ate all the snacks. That's probably why there's no snacks. Actually, uh, oh, I get it. Riley isn't, like, yelling at Tucker. He's just he's just loudly explaining there are no snacks. <laughs> also, for music, we can either do Hardy Forest or Verdant Canopy. Okay. Um, I do want to say that if this is the actual garden, there's a there's a nice happy song for that, but I bet that's not for right now. No, that is not for right now. <laughs> so Hardy Canyon no. or Verdant Canopy is that is that what you said? Hardy Forest or Verdant Verdant Canopy. Hardy Forest or Verdant Canopy. I'm thinking probably Verdant Canopy. But let me Hardy double check. Hardy Forest is on Dungeons Three versus the end of Dungeon One. Okay. Do, 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 do. I'm not currently on. Oh, oh right. I, I turned it on so you can change it for me. God damn it! I made a mistake. I made a critical error. That's fine. No, sorry. I, no, it's it's okay. I, it's because I actually selected because I wasn't sure. Uh, let me let's see canopy. Let's see here. Um, Burton canopy is a very subtle one. Which one do you prefer, Mister DM? Um. Verdant Canopy would probably have been a good build-up. I don't know why I didn't pick Verdant Canopy for the first stage. I was um, Let's just do Hardy Forest. Okay. You mean you don't know why you didn't pick Verdant Jungle for the first stage? Honestly, I think the one we picked was pretty appropriate, though. I'm going to have to look at what ones we picked. I can never remember, because there's two weeks between these, and there's a bunch of songs. That's fair. I mean, you can use these. Uh, I will say, just a small disclaimer card. We can use these however you want, but I do want to mention Hardy Forest was meant for a different continent. However, it's not a really a big deal. Uh, that's that's fair. I wasn't sure. Uh, well, we, we can always use Verdant Jungle. That one has a lot of energy to it. Okay. I'm re it's really... It's really... It's really your decision, though. I'm just letting you know pointers. Um... Jungle or canopy? Uh, well, are you all apprehensive moving forward, or are you all very determined moving forward? Is the difference here? Uh, I would love a can of peas, uh, but I'd say determined. 
I would say apprehensive is a good word. Tucker's in the middle. <laughs> I'd say Ralph is pretty determined. He wants to save the day. What about Brooke? Kyrio, you're the breaking vote. Brooke is always determined. And as for uh, canopies, yeah, yeah, I would love a canopies. Oh god, I just that got the fucking pun. You terrible person. <laughs> the fucking pun. Especially if you got keys to my canopies with keys. Alright, Kyrie, am I playing Verdon Canopy or Verdon Jungle? Jungle. Alright. When I originally listened to all these songs, I didn't intend for this dungeon to be super creepy, but that's what happened. I guess we're slightly leaving the creepy for playing Verdon Jungle. There we go. <laughs> it's fine. Alright, that should be a good volume. Stringers, let me know if that's a good volume or not, as the song kicks up. Oh no. I also let you change my volume. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, no, no, it's okay, go, I just- I, No, it's fine. I just realized that you could do that, and I was like, oh. No, that should be probably fine there. Oh, so you chose a good song. Have we used this one before? Oh, I don't, I don't think, think so. so. I think I was apprehensive about using Canopy and Jungle because I thought they were for something else later ah. on, and I'm realizing, hmm, I think I was wrong. I was probably wrong. Here's the thing. Don't be apprehensive. If we use something that was a tip for something else, then we can use something else for something else later. <laughs> you know what I mean? The songs are exchangeable. They're very exchangeable. We always... Cr Basically, we always have- we start with the soundtrack with intentions. There's certain songs that have very specific intentions, but you won't get those mixed up. I mean, we, we had long discussions over certain songs, so it's okay. But, as far as stuff that's more casual discussion or interchangeable, just do whatever you want. <laughs> you are the DM, after all. I know. <laughs> I just- I like having the appropriate song to this. And uh, part of the problem is, we had appropriate songs, but I ended up naming the area potentially differently. Yeah, that's but fair. All is well. Yeah. You, usually the area names are very close to the song names, so it's helpful. <laughs> or they are the song names. So, but any case, I, I am diverting from the start of the game. Yes. All right. So, um... Recap time can happen, but also, oh wait, hold on, there's, uh... Okay, first off, I cannot honestly fucking remember if I shared this picture. We have we have a little more here. I cannot remember if I shared this picture. Please somebody tell me if I did or not. I'll just put it down. If it's the one I'm thinking of, I don't think so. This one. I don't really uh, I think you shared a line art version. I think I showed a sketch version of this. Hmm. But now, uh, of course, of course it got finished. I did not realize it was actually going to get more details added to it, but uh, there you go. That is very cute. Um, if you can't, if you don't know at this point, this is Tucker with um, Light. So uh, <laughs> Light is in the game as well as a person outside of the game who has gotten a lot of art of these two. So it's not canon, but it's adorable. <laughs> Soft bellies. Light. It light is not light. Light seems. is not light. Light is not light at all. Very, very much a misnomer. Hmm. All right, and then uh, okay. So lastly, importantly, need a new panel. Yep, yeah, because we want this guy at his proper resolution. <laughs> that immediately remind me of who is this get who does a segment where he sings over he vocally just replaces a song in a video game and sound effects with his voice and it sounds fucking stupid but it's great <laughs> but <laughs> look what Kyrio did 
be an OCD and complete the character sheet uh, image list here with Blizzard gaining an image. Well, more or less completing. <laughs> it, as I said before when I first saw this, this isn't adorable. It is shaped like a friend. It is shaped like a friend. I love it. This is what friend shape looks like. <laughs> it's like trading cards. You collect the whole set. <laughs> it is a friend right there. Oh, dude, they, they could be uh, trading cards. Like the like old school Pokemon, like the old school knockoff trading cards. It, the okay. portraits on one side of the card, and like part of the group portraits on the other side of the card. You collect them all, and you put them all together and turn them over. It completes the group portrait on the other side of the card. Oh, that's oh, I know it, what you're talking about. Actually, as as weird as that is to describe, I know what you mean. Like getting a set of cards where they can put put side by side and actually make a whole picture. Yeah. I've seen those. Yeah, yeah. The one side would be the solo portrait, and the other side would be part of the group, which, <laughs> which they did all the time in the night, <laughs> and early two thousands. Um, Cairo, very nice work on this. I really like. I really like how his uh, how his feet do the little clasp themselves thing. Thank you. Particularly adorable. <laughs> still need to make zeal, though. True. That's why I said mostly complete. You did complete it for all existing character sheets. Zeal is not cool enough to get a character sheet, apparently, on our, on our, <laughs> on our table, but... Well, of course he's not cool. <laughs> he's a fire type. He's the hottest thing around. <laughs> I don't know about that. Pose, pose. <laughs> also, for some reason, why is this not locked on your sh side of the board, dear? Oh. You picked it up at the same time I was locking it, and now it's floating. I didn't touch anything. That, that, that's my fault. I clicked it to test. <laughs> that timing, though. Also, why are you asking me why it's not locked? I don't know. Because it's all your fault. No, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let's... Want to hit up the recap, guys? Yeah, let's do it. Alright, so who wants to do the recap? I'm told Tubby may wish to do the recap, but I need to be sure. May want to slash I pushed him to do it. <laughs> um, Same thing. Okay. Same difference. So, uh, last time, uh, our heroes ventured on to the Shaman Isle, but something was amiss. Um, so the Shaman Isles are drenched in pollution but like not just like surface level pollution like it's uh it's like seeped into the ground the ground's kind of slimy all of the trees are not quite right and crunchy um or squidgy yeah squidgy um but we have ventured through uh rescuing one little shaman at a time uh, a muck tried to stop us along the way, but we evaded the muck. Um, there was a big pit where most of the last session was spent. A big hole in the ground, I think, here? Here? Somewhere. Uh, but there was a big hole, and, um, and they, uh, Riley's aura, I think it was, or the other shaman, some kind of way we we worked out that the shaman was was there either up in the tree above the pit or down in the pit riley went down into the pit broke one up the tree um we all ended up down in the pit and we fought these zombie deerlings which was super sad because like their minds and souls were already gone but their bodies were zombified and like part of this corrupt hive mind together uh, but we saved that shaman and pressed onward, and I think we're at a boss fight now. Ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha! We haven't quite made it to another encounter yet. <laughs> I, I'm oh, trying to pull I up the zombies. Push... I'm trying to pull up the zombies, but I can't find images for some reason. What the hell do I do with them? Well, I mean, 
If there comes a point where there's a pause, I can probably quick sketch them. I can just put but, the back on Imgur, it's fine. <laughs> either way. Uh, no. I almost wish it was a boss fight. Almost. Doth say too much, perhaps. <laughs> we, uh, we're at a fight. I forget what we're even fighting, though. Did I just move those? No, I did. Yeah. Oh, I see what happened. Yeah, I forget, I forget what we're fighting. We're not currently fighting anything, we just left the pit, and now we're going into the final area of the forest. Uh, yes. Also, I realized what I did. I just never saved the fan images to my local folders like I normally do uh, for the last session. Uh. Whoops. Actually, for two sessions? Fuck me. What was I doing? <laughs> oh well. Remind me to do that later. <clears throat> but, zombie shaman here. Or, not shaman. Oh, that would be bad. Zombie shaman, though. I mean, that might be what we're fighting. I'm not really sure yet. But, this is the uh, deerling we, that we were talking about. There we go. We saved a bunch of people from the pit, too. True. Unfortunately, not them. Yes, they kinda... did. Including a Pidgey, a Rattata, and a couple other things. Because I can't remember exactly what I said you saved. <laughs> uh, I remember. Mm -hmm. oh, no. Was a what? Another deerling. Yeah, we did save a deerling. Uh, yeah. hmm. Can you give me permissions, by the way? It duplicated a piece again. Oh, sure. There you go. Wish it didn't do that. I don't know why it does. Eh, stuff falling. The, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Still doesn't explain why it duplicates, though. <laughs> yeah, let's see here. I, yeah, sorry, Key. I never saved your art. For session. Wait a minute. Because it enters the bag, but also falls through it. So it thinks that it fell off the table and places another instance of it in the center of the table. Okay. I do not know why it falls through the bag. Out of curiosity, we've spent two sessions in Terrible Forest of Goopy Poison, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Then why did I label the first session of the two, session 32? Wouldn't that be 33? Oh, I'm getting confused. Is there a numerical problem? Hmm. Hang on. I think I confused num num numerical... Wait, hold on a minute. Yeah, this is... Look. Something went weird, but I don't think... Oh, my brain is broken. Maybe we've been here longer than we thought. <laughs> the poison's gotten we've to me. We've been here on this island for... One, two... This will be the third session. Three, one, three, two... Oh! The, no? Yeah, this is, this is the third session. That's what I thought. But what did I label? Huh! 33 is Ill Garden. Yeah, I've looked at myself. And 32, we weren't, 32 we weren't is, to the island yet. Yeah, 32 is the polluted flower. That's when you met the shaman, which was directly before this. I see. I just misnamed some file names. I accidentally listed session 33s. I have a very complicated organization system for fan art. I labeled 30, 33 session as 32, and I've been messed up since. Whoops. <laughs> All right, X explains it. Thank you for helping sort my brain. A uh, tabletop simulator? Yes. What about it? No, I'm addressing the chat. Myself plays one through nine. Um, I'm not sure. It's somewhere around the tune of 20 bucks or so. It was on sale at Christmas, and I really encouraged people to pick it up, and nobody paid attention. And then a whole bunch of people later were like, I wish it was cheaper. And I was like, it was. I told you. <laughs> it never goes yes, on sale. It, it never goes on sale. So it was really weird to see it on sale. It, like, I love this, I love this game, but, like, or program, more or less. But it, it's true. The developers rarely put this thing on sale. I wish they did a little bit more often, personally. Doesn't have to be a huge sell, just you know. Even if it was just like a dollar or two off. Yeah. 
And it's it's an awesome deal because not only can you play tabletop games like Poker Roll, D and D, Pathfinder, you know, whatever you play, uh, but you can pretty much play anything on it because it gives you all the dice and little pieces and such. So if you one of you guys has a rule book and you can like implement, you can like import resources and stuff too. Yeah, and, and the workshop, and it's fun to make your own games too. Has, yeah. The workshop has, yeah, I actually made a game for it. It's crude and a lot of the assets are in it. It's fake. But, um, it, there's all sorts of stuff on the workshop, like, uh, you know, Connect 4, all the classic games. And of course, this, this Poker Roll Table's on Tabletop Simulator as well, of course. Uh, there's also another tabletop game I worked on with Essler, Changed Bonding, Changed Bonding Together, and. There is also something that's almost done that I Essler's revamping it for me because I had I finished it and then it had to be changed because of some reasons, but um, basically an original game I made. It's gonna be up soon, um, probably in another week or so. I forgot that in Lizard's profile, their size is chair, and their weight is lizard. I mean, I see nothing wrong with this. Sounds pretty accurate to me. Anyway. <laughs> so, so is that your only question about the the area? Yeah. Um. Uh, well. Yeah. Yeah. Assume you're addressing okay. me. Assume you're addressing me. My brain is now properly aligned. So we can all celebrate. Well, not yet. You haven't won. I mean, yeah, I guess that's a pre 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 premature of me to say. <laughs> so as you make your way into the inner garden, it's a little strange. Polluted, corrupted plants and earth matter are intermingled with purified, clean versions of it. Crisp green blades of grass interspersed with the oddly crunchy and pliable corrupted ones, standing between two of the squidgy and papery trees is one that looks relatively normal and healthy, albeit slightly stunted in growth. Slightly. Slightly. I must force myself to sit up, I get too comfy. <laughs> Yes, as you all move forward and away from the more polluted sections, you're finding that there is yet another very sheer cliff wall beside you, and thankfully this one does not look nearly half as melty as the one you walked by the other day, uh, <laughs> a little while ago. <laughs> I see with some of the tongue there. <laughs> the other day. The other week, you know. The, the other session. <laughs> I've saved it. <laughs> it may as well have been a, been a couple of days as far as Riley knows, to be fair. Like, how long was I out in a poisonous mushroom cocoon? Like, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. He just got knocked out and woke up in there. He doesn't know how long it's been. Shroom cocoon. That rhymes. <laughs> I hate it. So. Oh, go ahead. Unfortunately, a cluster of interspersed poisonous vines and corrupted trees is blocking the path forward. Though there is a path off to your right, or you could attempt to climb the cliff face if you so chose. Well, I could climb that pretty easily. Well, so this area is basically looking slightly healthier than the previous area, but it's really... It's a weird amalgamation where some, some sections are directly just perfectly fine while other sections are perfectly not fine. So it's a real checkerboard kind of pattern of, uh... 
Yeah, though not necessarily really checkerboard so much as first words that came to brain. I didn't mean I didn't actually mean a checkerboard. No, I, I know I was struggling to not use the checkerboard word because it's like <laughs> yeah, kind of checkerboard, but that's not really the visual I want to give here. It's more like somebody splattered swaths of two different kinds of paint into mingled perhaps. Yes, that's a good word. word. I like that word. Indeed. Patchwork. Normally, I'm a walking. Th- Normally I'm a walking thesaurus, but yeah, life has taken its toll lately, so bear with me. I mean, Kyra's a walking thesaurus too, but of a different type. Oh, God, so, no. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Sorry, that's my internal thoughts. <laughs> They're just screaming after I said that. Yeah. Uh, so, you suspect that the poison blob is growing, or that the not poison is taken back to the area. Like, if you want to hang out and find out, that's on you. No, I can't hang anywhere for long. The handle will break. I said, the handle will break. I think I'm gonna go. Okay, me too. <laughs> Tucker shakes his head a little. <laughs> Riley leaves. He's going home. What? <laughs> oh, is, is he going home now? How is he going to go home? The ship he, is left. He ascends to humanity. Bye. What the hell? He must nope. go. His humanity needs him. My people need me. <laughs> <laughs> Tucker shakes his head as his lack of fourth wall. Turn, turn off Riley's gravity so he can... Well, oh, yeah. shoot. Okay. okay, thanks for that, by the way. You stop touching me! <laughs> Tell that to Lizard's face. Yeah, you turn He's not off the one touching me, is he? And then float over him and press R. It'll just... How about you don't do that and read Kaoyo's line instead? Let's head down the open path, Burke says. Keep your eyes peeled, and don't lose sight of each other. Yeah, yeah, Captain. I would like to do an aura ping, please. Okay. Do your aura ping roll, which we will have to put on a card at some point, so it's easier for you oh. to do. Oh my. That die, that oh, die no. freeze was long. <laughs> there it is. Too. Of course. What else would it be? Begins. You don't sense a whole lot. It's. Huh, everything's well, dead. A bit well, weird. Sitting this thing's the, alive. The best it... <laughs> but the best, if unpleasant, way to put it is more like there's a sort of static haze over your aura radar, as it were. Um, something gross. About, something about the mismatched nature of this area is. Affecting your senses. It makes everything fuzzy. Yes. I mean, you have a general direction of where to go. You know ex- Well, not exactly. You know- <laughs> Put it on the map, yeah. Come on. S- somewhere over in that direction... Is the shaman you're looking for. Or at least you think so. It's- It's a big ping. You can hmm. only assume it comes from the shaman because it's a big ping. Big enough that the fuzzy doesn't really hide it too much. Hmm. Well, I suppose I'll be able to check a bit more closely when we're closer. So I'm gonna go down to the path with Burke. Does anybody else have any objections to going down the open path? Are you going to try and climb the cliff face? I mean, that's not produ- conducive to the way we want to be going, so Riley won't. Well, Tuck- I mean... Tucker prefers Tucker. no more climbing issues. There's been enough of those lately. Okay. Tucker's attitude is he just wants to get to the bottom of this. He's seen a lot. And he doesn't want it to continue. Home. No, he wants it to the stop. Of- he wants it to stop. Of this? <laughs> I mean... As you all move towards the more open path, there is a pit that is sort of opened up in the earth, like a proto-sinkhole, except you can see the bottom. 
How big of a pit? How far across is it? Eh. Good. Four and a half meters? Easy. I could probably toss Broken Tucker and across as well, is, actually. The Earth sort of curves downward into this, you know, pit, ditch, proto sinkhole thing, and at the bottom, it curves back up to the other side, kind of like somebody laid carpet over a hole, thinking that fixed it. So it's like a ditch, in other words. <laughs> Well, yes, except deeper. All, all the foliage and plants just follow it perfectly. It's not broken up. It's not that... like the earth has opened up into a gaping hole. It's a little weird. That oh, just I... tells me that the bed of, of 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 plant life is above a giant pit, and if we fall through, we're fucked. Oh, it... That's my conclusion. So I'm it. not going down there. I get it. It's like when I broke the same city that one time. I got it. I understand okay. entirely. <laughs> okay. Don't mess with train tools at weird times. I could, I could toss Broken Tucker over, no problem. It's not that far, he's an easy mm. throw. I mean, is that what you're doing? Is this what you're going to announce? Yeah, I'm gonna throw Brook across. Uh, without n <laughs> Wait, are you gonna announce it? <laughs> I'm gonna go, Brooke, I'm gonna throw you across, and then grab Brooke and pick him up. <laughs> what, a, what a few words, I see. Over my head. Brooke has received a warning and is now being manhandled. <laughs> yeah. Or polka handled, as it is. <laughs> I have hands. Yeah, paws. Basically, hands, let's be real. No, paws. <laughs> Mon handled? There you go. Mon handled. Right. Well, hey! Brook is lifted in the air, presumably. <laughs> presumably. Yes. Uh, hang on, let me look at Brook's weight. I have four strength, yeah, you're man. Fine. It's yeah, easy. You're fine. Brook, Brook is light. Brook is effortless for you. If you couldn't lift 20 pounds, you wouldn't be much of a real loop. Yeah, honestly. I'm no, no more close <laughs> to original rattle stance. What's that? I think I looked up the weight of a toad dial, and that's what it is. Oh, is that? Yeah. Oh, so you went, you went real official. What is the weight? Yes. Twenty. It's also he also weighs less than me, so you know, easy peasy. How much of that's water weight? Hmm. Probably all of it. <laughs> okay. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell Brooke to be ready to grab on to the ground, and I'm gonna throw him across. Okay. Go ahead and make me. Dex fight channel. Dex fight channel? Wouldn't it be strength fight channel, surely? No, I mean for accuracy. Oh, for accuracy, right. Ah, uh, sorry, sure Brooke. Don't accidentally toss Brooke into the hole. It's okay, it won't be like a two or anything. Oh, look it's at true. that. <laughs> we got a lot of ones today. Thou has invoked the curse of two. Not really, you have to invoke the curse of two yourself. Um, anyway. It's not exactly it's a hard task. Use light, as you say. Right. Roll me a strength. <laughs> strength? Okay, just pure strength? Yes. I apologize when this is inevitably a zero. Two. Oh. Three! My best roll yet! Just <laughs> really strong. You. I'm really strong, don't worry. Yeah, do me, do me. <laughs> no. You can figure uh... out your own way across. <laughs> Well, Brooke, you get flung across the to the other side. Uh, well, just <laughs> let me. Ah! Brooke yelps as he is uh, yoked across the pit. <laughs> Yot. Oh, past tits of heat. Gotcha. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. As he as Brooke is thrown across the pit. <laughs> Normal words. <laughs> That was a really good yeet, Riley. Alright. That went well. The sound of a spark plug breaking sounds as my mind starts to shut down. <laughs> okay, time for Tucker. Nah. Okay, Brooke. 
Be ready to catch, or at least grab the holds. I'm gonna lift up Tucker. <laughs> Tucker doesn't seem entirely sure about this. It scrabbles just a little bit, but doesn't fight it. And I'm gonna throw him at Brooke. <laughs> cool. Give me a strength, then dex fight, channel, and then strength again. Okay. It was the first strength to not pull my back, lifting him up. He's not that heavy. Yeah, but he's Two. also a quadruped, and... It's yeah. fine, just and grab squishy. him right side, lift him over the head. Uh, it definitely requires a different sort of holding technique. It's <laughs> fine. So, I think you're going to be shot put, Charm. Oh. <laughs> Here you go, here's the accuracy roll. Hope are you gonna do zero. several- are you gonna do several spins first? I'll do three spins. Uh -oh. Okay. Yeah, you're Look at all these ones! Put. Damn it, could you're you have said- shot put. You said hope it's not zero, and the darts like, okay, we'll give you a one. The only reason it wasn't a zero is because that was a six and not anything else. <laughs> Roll your strength. Uh oh. Alright, here we go. Hey, this is going fairly well so far overall, honestly. Mm. Yeah! <laughs> not sure where the fuck I'm going, but I'm going somewhere. Oh, Arceus. Brooke mutters as Riley tosses the pooch. Unfortunately, the poor pooch Yenna goes uh, a bit off course and ends up well, across the ditch, but also flung directly into a uh, a hole in a tree and is stuck, much like okay. me. Okay. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> you, you hear it? <laughs> thankfully, Hi. thankfully, there is not a hive of combi in there. You, you just hear a... <laughs> as he's thrown. <laughs> And then, and then I, I not, and then I, it could have been worse. It could have been a lot worse. A muffled <laughs> ah! as he gets stuck <laughs> to his waist. Do it again, but pull, do it again, but pull your mouth uh, away from the mic as you do it to create the create the effect. Ah! <laughs> I can get what you mean, but I don't know if I can do that. Stop. Ah! Like that? Yeah, that works. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, um, I should get rid of the shaman on your. <laughs> as, oh, as, my shaman. as Tucker gets somewhat sealed to his waist in the in the, in the knot hole or whatever in the tree, you just kind of hear, mm, ah, get, it's dark. Get me out of here. <laughs> That's your dark type. <laughs> I don't like this I will darkness. To pull Tucker out. <laughs> there any, <laughs> there any Pokemon in the tree? Like, um. No, fortunately, well, this is actually a healthy tree. Or God. unfortunately, as the case may be, because you know, it makes it tougher to get Tucker out. I can get him out once over there. Tucker is now Stucker. Tucker is now Stucker. <laughs> <laughs> Make it. Sorry. Oh, man. This, this is, is pure strength. strength. You, yeah, you should do an Ask Squad, Karam, starring Tucker. Call it Home Tuck. Oh, no. Can we kick him out of the game? No. Get him out of no. here. Restrain Burn the witch! Do no. your best to restrain yourself. <laughs> no. He's not a Mistrevis. You can't do that. <laughs> or a Gothita. Anyway. That is, that is one of the Pokemon designs that I do not like. Anyway. anyway. How about that strength roll, Brooke? Yes. Strength roll, please. Brooke. So, Brooke starts tugging on Tucker to get him out, since that line wasn't rat's eye. <laughs> so, what, what is Ralph going to do to get across? Oh, no. I'll swan. <laughs> Down. So, as it stands, Brooke, Tucker's a bit high, so your first instinct is to hop up, grab Tucker's hind legs, and then plant your feet on the tree. This does nothing. What you the are hell now is stuck in an awkward right horizontal position. Someone's sneezing? No? I'm losing my mind. Alright, cool. Carry on. Did you all hear what I was saying? Yes. Okay. I gotcha. So, Ralph, what are, what are you gonna do to get across? Yeah. Um, 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 um,
Yeah, maybe I could make a crude grappling hook and toss it over there and climb across. Make a shimmy rope. Like, a shimmy. Or you mean a slack line. How do you intend to make the grappling hook? Um, I get a vine and tie it to a stick and a rock and I throw the other end of it over there and then I tie uh, the end that's still on my side of the hole to a tree and I shimmy across and hope it don't break. How big a rock are we talking? A <laughs> fucking boulder. <laughs> well, just something to give it a little bit of weight to throw. Uh, it, uh, was I... By the way, was Kyra's last... Or was Brooke's oh. last line actually said aloud? I wasn't... I may have gone oh, blind sorry. there, but I, I thought... I, I, I feel like it got missed, but I wasn't sure. I missed it. I'm... <laughs> you terrible person. <laughs> <laughs> or actually, I have a better idea. But read the line first. I don't think this is the most well-thought-out plan, Riles. Riles. Right. <laughs> I'm not gonna respond because that's not my name. <laughs> that's the reason I was like, I don't think this is red because that's a funny nickname and I don't think I heard it. Is there any trials? Yeah. There are like uh, any trees close to the uh, where the ground isn't solid? Hmm. Yes, on both okay. sides. Alrighty. Most I will of the try. trees on your side are kind of sickly looking. Especially towards the lower end of their roots and trunk. I, I'm going to try to push the tree over and make a bridge. Hmm. Okay. How do you wish to push the tree over? I am. Uh, I suppose I'll roll a tackle against the tree. Hmm. Okay. Don't roll a zero. He's just, he's just flying into the pit if he gets a zero. <laughs> uh, Dex fight, bro. I couldn't get it. By the way, while Tucker is stuck to the tree, uh, is there anything in there? He's gonna look for loot. I mean, uh, he's gonna observe. I don't know. Roll me a luck die. Okay, what's a luck die? I guess it's a die. Oh, it's just a die. What is this it's thing? It's like a doom die, but lucky. Okay. Oh, nice. That was a nice accuracy. A nice middle of the road three. Okay. Okay. Ralph, you ram your body into this tree. There is a loud snapping and creaking noise. And then a distinctly goopy sh as yeah. the bottom part just pulls apart kind of like rotted fruit almost. Mm -hmm. so there's yeah. like these gross yeah. sticky yeah. St strands sticking to the rest of it. And mm. it just collapses across the pit. Camber! It almost hits Riley. What? Hold on, I'm on his side of the pit. How did it hit me? Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm not sorry. It almost hits Riley. <laughs> You're not sorry. You're the M. <laughs> what? Hold on a hot second here. Well, uh, Riley is near the edge of the pit. I will carefully uh, walk across. Jerry, and I'm gonna stay back to Riley. Jim, I think only one of us should go across my new patented Ralph Bridge at, at a time. If it can hold you, it can all definitely hold me. Ralph okay. Bridge, copyright yes, LTM maybe, ATD. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not at the same time. So he's yes, because uh, a whole 17 kilograms on, on top of 290 pounds is definitely enough to break this tree instead of just 290 pounds. You never know. <laughs> Ralph can't afford that. Uh, like, uh, if a freaking piggy lands on Ralph's head in the middle of this, it might tip the scale. <laughs> and only now do I notice that Ry that Aragon Sheet has kilograms and not pounds like the rest of us. <laughs> I'm Canadian! We use metric, you bastards! I only now notice <laughs> this. <laughs> Like as Why as Carter mentioned, said it. the pit was in meters. Exactly. Yeah, when you said the pit was in meter, I was like, okay, cool, and I just was like, I don't know how big that is. Throws out thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> One meter equals about three feet. Okay. Yeah, so a meter is three feet. Yes. So that was like a yard. okay, a yard. Fair enough. 
Stupid Americans. I'm just gonna jump across the pit. Pole vault with an ore bone. Oh, man. Oh, oh, so you're going to use Bone Club to try and pole vault, are you? Yes. Roll for it. Why do you sound so smug? <laughs> As I thought you would do! <laughs> so, like, what? All according to plan. <laughs> See? Hmm. So, you slam the ore bone into the ground to help you leap off. And the ground beneath it gives way. Ah. Oh. Go ahead and roll me a Dex Survival Athletic. Oh dear. <laughs> Uh, also, Ralph, you're fine. You're on the other side. Nice. Three! <laughs> Three is the new two today. Well, no. <laughs> it really yeah. isn't. Please don't, don't jinx it. Book of of three. <laughs> um, by the way, Tucker, you find an old bird Pokemon nest in the knot hole. Oh. It has a couple of shiny stones that are probably worth a few poke. <laughs> <laughs> Having nothing better to do, he kind of reaches down and, uh, Pokes at them a bit before picking them up. Did I die? <laughs> roll to die. Okay. See, this is why they're called die. What do I roll for death? Hang on. So what we, this is why dice are called die. <laughs> I mean, I negative survival. Oh. Like the only reason I'm I'm alive Jeez. in two different campaigns is because the DM forgets the. Multiple, so much damage is overwrites your mass handle, health instantly kills your rule. Twice now. I've been saved by good graces. <laughs> also, I just realized it's it, a terrible, terrible luck. It is fortunate that Tucker wears his uh, his inventory bag basically around his neck because uh, that means it's in the tree web and he can put the stones away easily. I'll get him out once and that once I cause the size if I'm dead. So, money is. Riley manages to cause his side of the pit to sort of start sinking and sliding into the rest of it. He uses the momentum to leap off the edge of the pit and manages to grab onto the the edge on the side of where everybody else has finally gotten. It's I'm just good. that it's only the upper half clinging to the edge. Okay. It's one I'm of those things where he's got both arms over the edge plus his head, but the rest of him is sort of dangling. Question I'm mark. I'm gonna sort scramble of against the wall. <laughs> scramble up wall. <laughs> Can I roll the scramble? Like a scared cat. Is anybody going to help Riley at this point? Tucker is in tree. Tucker does not help Riley. <laughs> Is Rook helping Tucker, I think? So I think uh, Rook's, Rook's, uh, Rook's helping me now. I <laughs> gave up on you. You're a lost cause. Oh, oh there's there's Riley. Time. There's time. Why didn't you just take the bridge Ralph made? Burke hops down to help Riley up. I don't trust that thing not to turn to just a mess of goo at any moment. That's my response. <laughs> can, can, can Tucker hear anything that's going on? It is muffled. I think realizing that Brooke has stepped away again, uh, he's gonna try uh, to push. Try to, can he plant his four paws on the inside of the tree to try to push against it and push himself back? Go ahead and make a strength check. Wait, do I need? <clears throat> Do I need to roll strength to lift Riley up? I hope uh, not. You need to roll strength. Riley needs to roll dex. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna die. It's a ditch. <laughs> Two. Two! Yay! Yeah. Well, <laughs> so, so you trusted the ground, which we've already observed was sinking, Burke asked. Look, it held up while I was tossing you and uh, Tucker across. There's no reason I should have collapsed under myself. It definitely would have would have collapsed for me. 
I was never intending to toss you, but not okay. <laughs> you don't think I could? Yeah. It's not that's a challenge. Right. That's right, you couldn't. Well, I'm not gonna adhere to this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remember this, but I'm gonna pull Tucker out of the tree. <laughs> Actually, what did Tucker have any success of his two? Little notification at the bottom of the screen, Riley will remember. <laughs> Burke just pulls Riley up with a grin. Well, whatever. We all made it over. Right. <laughs> What's happening with Tucker? <laughs> there is just a great there is just a great butt sticking out of a tree still, sadly. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Unfortunately, Tucker, you wiggle and squirm, but you are Kinda of wedged in there. <laughs> right. I want to grab his legs and pull him out. Roll strength. Oh god, I hope you're you grip it a <laughs> kind way. If I get a zero, this might end really poorly. Two. Well, you tug and yank, and Tucker, it's a little painful getting your legs stretched like that. <laughs> You hear. <laughs> but you do feel some give around your rotund middle. <laughs> he will do his but best I... to push off. Also, important question, what, what part of his legs is Riley grabbing? Um, legs. Like ankles or a little further Probably. Probably. Those are shaped like handles. Oh, god damn it. That's gonna leave him sore. <laughs> Should've grabbed for the meaty parts. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm not gonna grab your thighs. That's you're weird. gonna break his ankles if you're not careful. Well, I haven't rolled a zero yet, have I? I. Yeah? Alright, I'm gonna plant a foot against the tree trunk and pull and put my whole body weight into it this time. Oh no. Okay, deck, uh, strength, survival, athletic. Oh god. <laughs> I got seven dice. <laughs> Okay. And I get uh, three wines. Are you serious? I'm actually kind of happy because if you do a really good roll, you might actually hurt him. <laughs> to rip him in half. It's like dead end space. up tossing him back across the pit. <laughs> <laughs> Selena's not all right with this. <laughs> God, I was trying to figure out what happened. <laughs> or was mildly distracted, but either way. So, you plant your foot on this tree and yank. And thankfully for Tucker, he's not as stuck in the tree as he possibly could be. Possibly due to retching earlier, or because the tree is just not that strong. Or, I don't know. He's also maybe. pushing on the inside, that might help. Well, yes, that too. <laughs> or maybe it's his efforts on the inside of the tree. Or maybe <laughs> it was Brooke's earlier efforts that sort of dragged Tucker out a little. <laughs> Whatever the case may be, you yank out Tucker and promptly fall to the ground. Tucker <laughs> quickly following and mildly squishing our poor real. <laughs> ah! God, he weighs more than me! <laughs> the, the dog just sort of belly flops on top of Riley. Riley, would you land face up or face down? Put me face up! I just fall backwards! Do you get, yeah, you get you get just belly in your face then. <laughs> ah, knock the wind out of me. Yeah, good thing I got the cargo, you'd be dead. <laughs> the impaled on my chest spike. Wait, hold on, I'm wearing the amulet. That's a chest spike amulet. Yeah, but it's not pointing out. Unfortunately, thank God for that. You don't. You're not used to fat bellies. Fat bellies can have. Fat bellies have give. It's like a tree. Trees bend in the wind so they don't fall over. It's similarly, a belly has a give to it. If I was to stab you right now with a sharp metal thing, I'm pretty certain the sharp metal thing would win. <laughs> Nonetheless, Tucker uh, is mild, momentarily winded and just lays on top of you for a second before wriggling a bit because he feels Get the pokey off. thing and gets off. Get off! <laughs> Can't breathe! Oh, you good, Tucker? Burke asks. I think so. 
he hops off to the side or kind of walk, kind of wriggles off to the one side, uh, <laughs> giving giving Riley's face a, a investigating little lick just to make sure he didn't squish him too much. Um, I don't know if I want you to throw me again. I promise nothing. <laughs> right. That was interesting. Burke smiles. Let's keep going. Riley is going to pick himself up and test himself off. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <laughs> Well, at least I he's to wash my freaking cape after this now. At least he's soft weighty and not like firm weighty. Like good, good thing you were pulling out a fucking uh, like Aaron out of the tree or something. Cause that then. Okay, wow. Aaron's straight up weigh like two hundred pounds. <laughs> these, these just like bricks. They are basically bricks. <laughs> oh well, okay. That's a dead end. That's inconvenient. <laughs> oh, Serio. Oh, Serio. The, the tiles demand a boss fight. Oh. Are you trying to make them not to dead ends, but okay. <laughs> You're, of course, right. free to draw another tile. If you need. I mean, I think he just wants to beat us up, honestly. Like, he wants a boss you know fight. What? I'm, go I'm going to leave the tile here. Okay. No, play someone I need to. As you move forward, you find that the path you're heading on is... It's one that seems like it would be relatively... trod upon. Except instead of packed down dirt, there's just this very small, very low to the ground, even... I guess you could call it a layer of small ferns and flowers? That make up this clear path between trees and foliage. Right, I don't trust that as far as I can throw it, and I, as much as I can probably throw a fern, I, don't, I can't throw the entire universe. Uh, wait, these ferns and stuff, do they make, uh, they, do they make a path, or do they line a path? They make a path. I see. I don't trust this one second. Like the yellow brick road, but softer and more pleasant. Riley's over here like, trees? Greenery? I don't trust that. I don't trust greenery when it's in a path of everything here, with the exception of, like, four Jamin have attempted to murder us. <laughs> also, thank you, Deagle. Or rather, thank you, Era, for do donating to Deagle. Also, hi, Era. Hi, Era. Seems like we're on the right track, Brooke says. I, I recommend we go left. <laughs> Indeed, as you swing around, you find a fork in the path. Though, according to Riley's previous ping, and I'm going to ignore that there's a space there, um, but according to Riley's previous ping, you do want to go a bit west instead of just purely north, but who's to say how the path lines and what tribulations will be in each direction? Yeah, I say we go left. Hmm. Tucker looks the leader. <laughs> Trust the guy with psychokinetic powers here, come on. The guy who just threw him into a tree. Yeah, how many people could do that? <laughs> well, you may have you may have put me at injury and risk, but you're really good at doing that, so I should trust you. Exactly. <laughs> this, 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 that was the whole plot of one. <laughs> you can trust him. Roll deceit. It's one of the funniest moments. <laughs> Sounds as good as direction as any. Alright. Oh, <laughs> this is just uh, shit. <laughs> it's just another pit. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> I say. Car versus the tiles. <laughs> <laughs> that better car. Better. better. There we go.
You come across another p path that leads further towards, well, the proverbial left, but it seems to have one of the one of those uh, papery looking trees having fallen across that path. You could probably get over it, but I mean, you it's, haven't wanted to touch those things before. It's it's papery. We could probably just yeah, like, but it's you decide. Weird, like paper bark birch trees, you know, the sickly kind. Yeah, I used to have one of those in my backyard. I played on it as a kid. What's your point? The corrupt kind? Sure, probably. We'll explain a few things. <laughs> <laughs> Grabs Riolu by head. Tosses. You can be referring both to me and my character now, and that's that great. Fucking is delivery, though. <laughs> As people say, I'm at my most powerful when I'm capable of doing exactly that. There is, however, another path leading north as well. Somebody roll me a doom die! Doom! Doom! <laughs> doom! No. Dang it, I need to clarify you're not allowed to roll doom dies anymore. Doom! I'll roll it then if you don't want to count his roll. <laughs> what? No, come on. Six. It's fine. Ow. <laughs> no, no more six! Oh, yeah, okay. more sixes! <laughs> Hey, how's my four looking now, guy? <laughs> my experience, six on a doom die means more salandits. Yeah, more salandits. <laughs> yeah, I was Lizards here. Like, yeah. Maybe it thought too. It's come to save us. <laughs> yes, lizards suddenly wash. What words? Words, please. Lizard suddenly waddles out from the underbrush, and then explodes because it was a mushroom in disguise. Wow. Can I can I roll for PTSD? <laughs> No, the explosion was deafening. There's red spore bits everywhere. Oh no. Wow. I'm joking, by the way. Wow. I'm gonna cry. It's, I have no qualms torturing you all at this point. Uh, well, we've covered that, yes. But in all seriousness, there's an odd guttural hissing noise that emanates from the other side of the fallen tree. Okay, I think the reasonable option is to get my normal boy and just push the tree log so it rolls all okay, Brooks leaving, I guess we're not doing that. <laughs> Tucker! <laughs> take a glance at the tree and take a hard right. Brooke has decided. <laughs> Tucker very much follows after a wriggle of his ears. Towards the sound, he doesn't want any part of that either. It still doesn't work. Okay, the additional uh, funny with the whole Birch hmm. thing is that Aragon's last name is Birch, so. Just, is he a sickly tree? Well, yeah, he yeah. might be. He's probably a corrupted definitely. tree. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I'm definitely sicky. Sicky. <laughs> sicky. Not sickly, sicky. It's sicky. different. Is that actually a word? Because you could be just pulling the wool over my eyes. I wouldn't know it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Thought so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like how there was a really weird tile that Kara was debating there. And then just gave up on. These tiles, they taught me. We can make new tiles. Actually, there was that one guy who was actually making more colorful tiles, though admittedly. I don't know if that got finished. I think he kind of dropped it, which is fine. You need to have a look around. True. I might look into it later. There. <laughs> we have come to a decision. Seems we've hit a wall. Well, is this not so much a, going the wrong not direction. Not so much a now. wall as an actual hill. Though, the entire hill is sort of layered in poisonous and clean and poisonous, almost like a striated chunk of sedimentary rock. Is it, you know, foliage, but poisonous and not poisonous. Right. It's, it's almost snake-like in how the poisonous bit spirals up 
segmented by bushes and vines that trail along the ground, punctuated by half-withered looking flowers. Not related to the hissing we heard before. There's Complete a tree coincidence. The it is a fat, stocky tree with black bark. I'm not a botanist, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Man, this place is messed up. Berk states the obvious. Also, we're going the wrong way now. <laughs> well, so you least... think? Nope. Well, it's I'm it's pretty sure. Ah, let Tucker talk! <laughs> <laughs> Never. Uh, Want to respond to Brooke? Alright. Um, well, at least it's a little healthier than the last area. Not by much, though. I would like to do another ping to triangulate location of Big Boy. Big Boy? Yeah. You may go ahead and try. Alright. Also do line. One moment. Okay. Wait. Somehow that concerns me more. Burke in response to Tucker noting that this place looks better. Mm hmm. Charm, there's still new R in the Discord. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Alright. So, your aura ping determines that, once again, <laughs> area's fuzzy. But, oh, God. <laughs> that's, a good anim that's a good action animation. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that, that, oh, I'm that saving this. That is very good action animation. Oh, this is good. <laughs> I like this is quality. <laughs> I don't get that this bitch empty part, but okay. That, that's where the whole yeet thing came from. Oh, it is it? I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> that's good then. It's a meme. That's why I don't understand it. It's a meme. That is everything. Brooke is blasting off again. Brooke's face. Poor Brooke. <laughs> Would you do that to Lizard? Nah. Hmm. Even if Lizard asked you. Okay, if he asked, probably, but... <laughs> I didn't ask Brock, I just said I did it. Things need to be... We're, on, a, we're on, the, on the clock here, we got places to be. Shamans to save. Totals, Mal, totals to eat. My wiles to get back to. Hmm. Yeah, outfits to fix. <laughs> right, how easy would this hill be to climb? You can probably just walk up it. It's a little <laughs> steep, and you would probably want to tiptoe or make your way past the. Uh... I could I could just use our bone as as walking stick or a trekking pole, and I'll be fine. True, but how do you plan on get pat getting past the poisonous bits? Walk around. Also, this time I want Riley to make me an insight survival alert check while he's focusing on his aura pinging. Oh no. I'm not good at that. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Well, you know that the shaman is north of you. You get a slightly better pinpoint of the location. You can also vaguely sense that there are other pings nearby. Oh boy, it's about to get crowded. So the rest of you, I need insight survival alert. Oh wait, what was that a roll? Insight survival alert? Yes. Okay. Everyone does better than Riley. <laughs> Alright, insight survival alert. Yeah. Wow, we're dead! Something as war has more insight, survival, and alertness than us. 
Except for Ralph. Okay, never mind. This is Ralph. Ralph, as you are trailing behind your friends, you hear the hissing again. It's low, guttural. It almost seems to bubble a bit. Like somebody who's got phlegm in their throat. Is well, considering. Is. You turn around briefly. And for a moment, outside of the hissing, you hear a very subtle tick, tick, tick. Right before all your senses yeah. are completely enraptured by the fact that there is a big, corrupted-looking septile stalking up behind all of you. A septile? Yes. Heck, I really <laughs> like those. Wait, if it's a, pose, if it's a poisonous septile, perhaps it's a septic tile. <sighs> I like to call a septile salad noodles. <laughs> No, no, that's Savi- no, that's Superior. Superior salad noodles. Superior salad noodles. <laughs> this is just a salad. Alright, um, yeah, I will win them. Septiles are grass, right? Poison. Poison tree thing! Dragon! Wait, wait a minute. It it opens its mouth and goes. I mean, considering the area, I would not eight. be surprised if its throat yeah. is full of phlegm, honestly. Yeah, I can't yeah it, it drools this nasty yellowish looking gunk that hisses like acid when it drips on the ground. Uh, also, just I FYI, can't... since Dragon was being. Bad, it's, just a, it's just a grass type, it's not actually a dragon. I was very confused for I, a moment. I know. Yeah, I <laughs> Saying that it's Dynamax or Mega Evolution should be Dragon. Oh, huh, he maybe. Challenges, he challenges it saying, Dragon can do that too, and he starts drawing. <laughs> this isn't a competition, um, Ralph. Yeah. God. Oh, Burke says. So, uh, uh, Burke, I hope your evasion is up to snap. Uh oh. We're all fucked. <laughs> if we gotta dodge something now. Oh, that's fine. You can dodge that. Easy peasy. You say this. He's got five dice. He should be okay. Mm -hmm. The odds are in his favor. I have done the math. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's good. See? Okay. See? I've done the math. He got the devil's number. It's fine. The septile's throat bulges out almost like a frog's. Mm. And it rears its head back before expelling its caustic phlegm at Brooke. Missing, of course, thanks to Burke's quick reflexes. And, well, the fact that you all had multiple experiences already with things with spitting or acid and various projectiles at you this dungeon. The phlegm splatters across the hill and hisses, leaving behind a minor hole in addition to a charred-looking shape in the ground. Hmm. One that seeps outward like another version of the corrupting poisons you've already encountered. Oh, fantastic. <clears throat> <laughs> Brooke does a Dark Souls dodge roll. Do we roll an issue? Say it, don't spray it, you jerk. Brooke says as he dodge rolls away. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely doing the Dark Souls dodge roll, yes. Yeah. <laughs> the Kingdom Hearts dodge roll. All <laughs> those iframes. Are we doing initiative? <laughs> yeah, go ahead and roll initiative, everybody. Alright. Just once, I'd like to remember the roll for initiative. <laughs> One die plus Single something. Thing. One die plus oh, something, alright. It's uh, probably my initiative. Which, I, I actually, no, I wrote it down. Uh, what's it based off of? What status is it based off of? It's Dex Survival Alert, I believe. Right. Yes. Right, which so is it's, is mine is still accurate. Okay, in that case, uh... Actually, that's pretty good. No initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Neither does that, thank god. Uh, 
Let's see. Wow. I'll, I'll... Okay. The only one that goes after this thing is Ralph, unfortunately. Sorry, <laughs> Ralph. <laughs> this is uh, how it be most of the time, though, isn't it? <laughs> uh, one moment, a second here. Help your team, Tucker, be the Poke Pupper decks. So we have a new thing. Some of you guys may not be aware of this, but I added new pop pointer rewards. I'm gonna tell you guys here in the in the voice group. And one of them is to have Tucker read something. So somebody wants me to read something for Tucker. Um, okay, he just wants. They just. Selena wants me to read a Pokedex and read Tucker's voice. All right. So I'll just do this real fast. Yeah. Sceptile, the forest Pokemon, and the evolved form of Grovile. The seeds growing on Sceptile's back are brimming with vitamins that can revitalize trees. I don't think this Sceptile has those. Yeah, I, 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 I'm gonna doubt that. F to doubt. Well, <laughs> now that you're in initiative and have a better look at it, it's definitely not your regular Sceptile. Its colors are... modeled. There's dark purple blue spots, almost <laughs> like bruising, that have spread across its scales. Hmm. The bulbs on its back seem to be replaced with these ruddy reddish fruits that have these four pointed petals at the ends of them. Almost like, um,. A grapefruit, except a bit more elaborate and kind of dangerous looking. Hmm. I know that's not particularly helpful. It uh, looks dangerous. Don't touch. I mean, Tuckers have no enough experience with, like, gross fruits at this point, so... Yes, and the, uh, the spines on its tail are also these withered, browning at the edges. It's rattling is, creates this rustling like dead leaves. It's actually mildly unsettling. Alright. Uh, you guys beat it up before it gets to my turn, yeah? <laughs> I don't want to touch that. Seriously. <laughs> also, Rai Guy drew a little thingy. I'm a compass. Right, uh, from what I s is that like on Pokemon stock paper? That's kind of cool. Yeah. Little Pokemon notepad thing. <laughs> Yeah, I guess Brooke is gonna return the favor and spit a wire gun at it. Give me just a sec while you <coughs> prepare that. Okay, water the plant. Maybe they'll heal him. Wow, sad. That's... As you get ready to attack, two somewhat corrupted looking Bulbasaur waddle their ways out of the brush. You would mistake them for Ivysaur if not for the fact that their bulbs are still, well, bulbs. bulbs. <laughs> so they're just really big Bulbasaur? Well, they're bigger than average Bulbasaur. But the bulbs themselves more closely resemble things like you saw down in the husk cave. Oh, oh great. great. <laughs> Stringy vines bound together over a pulsating opaque chrysalis of <laughs> Bulbasaur! Bulbasaur. <laughs> we're getting good today. we're getting good variation names here. Good work. You and me, Kyra, we're gonna we're gonna go places with this. <laughs> You're not sure what's in the bulbs. You don't want to find out. There might be people to save in the bulbs. <laughs> They're not Can robotic I check? bots. I mean, we save people in other bulbs. <laughs> Fortunately for you, they spend their turns getting into position. So, it is your turn, Brooke. Yep, water gun at the set tile. While he does that, I'm curious, where are the Bulbasaurs in relation to us and the Sceptile? Uh, they're coming up on you from where you just came. So, basically where the Sceptile came from as well. 
Yeah. Okay. So from south. Just want to make sure this wasn't like a flanking situation or something, or I have the high ground Anakin with the Bulbasaur or something. So. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and roll damage. Stab is just an extra die, right? Correct. Yeah. Though it resists, so it'll take one less damage, I believe. Do you have eight dice for accuracy? My god. I actually I think I should have had seven. Hmm. Mm, special fight channel. Yeah, it's supposed to be seven, but eh, it's fine. Ah, he's cheating. Oh, hush, Mr. <laughs> Demon in his skull. What's that? <laughs> okay, this is because I'm one. You gave me this cheat code. Thank you very much. Tucker still has the most mediocre rolls in general for damage. Relax. <laughs> it's fine, though. Look, when, when push comes to shove, I roll like shit. When it, it's really, when it's for a, a name bullshit, I roll really well, but it's, when it's for important stuff, it goes bad. <laughs> We've covered this. Oh. You like that? Yeah, but winning the bullshit rolls are more fun. Oh, that's very true. <laughs> that was more of a spiteful water gun anyway. <laughs> so minus one in the one damage. <laughs> well... You spray the septile with a water gun. You're, you're still kind of flustered by the fact that it hocked a loogie at you. <laughs> so it's more like a light spritzing. You've watered the plant. It is Tucker's turn. Hmm. Well, Tucker has absolutely no interest in to get close to a bunch of poisonous creatures if he can avoid it. Especially since, well, they probably don't smell the greatest, especially that Sceptile. So he's going to stay his distance and indeed ready another Dark Pulse. This one's a little more traditional than the last uh, special shield thing that he used last time. And will simply be doing its normal effect. Well, it's already you say you're though. readying a dark pulse. Are yes. you going to wait to do combo with someone else, or are you actually just using the dark pulse? That's actually a good we point. We can do combo moves. <laughs> Y'all keep forgetting that you can like postpone your turns to like help other people. That was incidental wording, but I like the I like the cut of your get give or whatever they say. Um, I, I, Jeb, Jeb, it's Jeb. Right? I don't know. That word's weird. Um, yeah, I think Giblet, I'll... For giblet. Yeah, so what does readying involve? Do I have to do an accuracy roll now, or...? It would just mean that you're postponing until you want to help. Yeah. Tucker's gonna look at the approaching... Two approaching Bulbasaurs and kind of judge the situation. Um, and elect to react when he feels it's correct to do so. He's not quite taking a defensive action, but... And he and there is a bit of dark swirling around him as he kind of preps his energies, but he's not attacking just yet. Just like preparing an action. Yes. Okay. Mm. Right. Now's not the time to choke, Brooke. He admonishes himself. Now, when can I trigger this action? Um, whenever you want to interject your action. Okay. I would say similar to D&D. Alright. Which means I could also technically use it to attempt to interrupt an attack. I think you it would be can, counted as a clash at that but point. But that would be what? counting as a clash. Fair. Granted, a clash with a ranged attack is, is kind of a safe clash, usually. Alright, just check it. Does that make it my turn? <laughs> so, Riley... Okay. The Sceptile is still there, and it's got cohorts now. So, on a scale of bottom of the of the hill to top of the hill, where is the Sceptile on the hill? Sceptile's not on the hill, it came from the south. They all came from okay, the same so direction we did, so no, there's no so inclines involved. Right. Unless we're up on the hill at all. Are any of us up on the hill? Not yet. Okay. Tragic. In that case, we I all mean, have the same In the course of the battle, you can move up the hill, but... 
Good. I'll let no Tucker is kind of standing his ground. Hmm. Yeah, that goes. That goes my plan. Hmm. Okay. Hear me out here. I want to rush next to this thing, and I want to kick its legs out and knock it down. Out, rip off artist. Uh, so you're doing a knockdown then? I'm doing a knockdown, yeah. Alright, strength fight bro. Strength fight bro? Shit, I should do this more often. <laughs> Knockdown's what actually quite. What did I just do there? What? I, I, I spawned the die? This is a powerful, <laughs> this is a powerful <laughs> die. This is a powerful <laughs> die right here. <laughs> That's interesting, I don't need that. How about, how about you try that again? By the way, Tucker kind of does eye towards Brooke, who we noticed did do kind of a weak attack. Two. 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 <laughs> oh my goodness, look at the two. There's so many twos, there's four twos in them. <laughs> Half of my dice came up two. <laughs> the way you say two is adorable. Two. 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 <laughs> did it work? <laughs> I mean, it's only accuracy. Surely I'm okay. That's a lot of dodge. <laughs> Okay. Oh. For such a large and sickly looking creature, it's still quite agile. Sceptile are notable for being kind of quick. So, well, rather than hopping as one might to deal with getting their legs swept out from underneath them, it lifts one leg and then the other in quick succession, causing the Riolu to only swipe air. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. I punch it. Oh, you gotta do that. Hey, Astral made an interesting statement. What if Riley boosted Tucker's bar Dark Pulse of his aura? Interesting. Why, why don't you boost my aura with Dark Pulse? I like the whole Shadow Sword thing. Give Riley a sword. It no one's okay. done it yet. <clears throat> interesting no, thought give that... Tucker a sword. Tucker deserves the aura sword. <laughs> be the bestest doggo sif that you can be. <laughs> I, could, I could use Bone Club and you can infuse it with darkness. That sounds like a thing that's feasible. Do you really want to invite darkness into your soul? You can't get much more darkness in my soul than what's already in there, let's be real. I've got the embodiment of darkness in my brain. I'll be fine. Also, just realize what I really consider what Dark Pulse does, I'm very thankful you allowed him to use it as a shield last session, because that's very a far departure from its normal usage. Yeah, well, let me see what the anime does sometimes. Into something better. The, the, the whole advantage here is that Dark Pulse is a wave of Dark Fillings, so if that wave of Dark Fillings can be manipulated into another form, then it's still logical to some degree. <laughs> Actually, I almost gotta say, Dark Pulse feels like something that should be able to do weak damage to multiple targets if, if used correctly. It, doesn't it? <laughs> no, like weaker damage, yeah. but only, it only hits one normally. Yeah, normally it hits a random target. But like, like special plus one or special plus zero, but it hits everything. Would be kind of interesting. I am thinking thoughts. Anyways, what's your kick doing? Or punch or whatever? Well, I don't know. I haven't rolled for it yet. Is there anything really stopping you from just doing knockdown a second time? You okay. can only yes. do the action once. You can only do an action once. Okay, I can remember. Two. Fuck. Snarl's a dark if <laughs> it's weak and hits everything. Oh, that's right. Wait, wh I, what are you I, doing to punch? Force bomb. Oh. I'll punch you. Eh, forcing me to waste all these dice. That's the point! Shit! <laughs> Tool. God damn it. The corrupted septile is actually forced to backstep a little bit as you attempt to force palm it after, s after your failed leg sweep, even though you don't <laughs> know leg sweep. Hmm. It's okay. I got a question, Kai. Can I copycat his uh, poison loogie and hit him with that? <clears throat> you want to do that? Um, Why would you want to do uh, that? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Because, because new round, and he hasn't acted yet, aside from dodging. It's not. It doesn't have anything to do with uh, with round. It just copies the last move the foe has performed. It could. It could be like two days ago. Technically, it would still count. What's the exact mm. wording on it? Let me see. Copies the last move the foe has performed. Didn't, That's it. It doesn't address whether you're in act, in combat or not with that statement. So. Exactly. I I would say that you were not paying enough attention initially. Damn it. That's fair. That is okay, fair, because you didn't get the perception roll, so that's fair. That's fair enough. Okay, that's my turn then. Mm -hmm. I'm done. I did nothing. 
Thanks for leaving me no dice to attack with. Yeah, that was the point. <laughs> I don't want him attacking us. That guy is fucking Gary. I know you meant scary, but I heard Gary. He, that guy is fucking Gary. We don't Good like Gary, Gary, Gary here. Well, I hope you can dodge, Riley. Oh, it's me. Oh, shit. You're the one attacking it. You're the one in its face. That's good points. <laughs> no, it takes flight evasion at a minus four. I need to get one success and I'm okay. Yay! Also, give me a second. I need to check held items because they're made. <laughs> we just swing at each oh, other. Oh, shit. No now you bring that up. Um, Water gun was supposed to have a flinch roll, wasn't it? Oh, goodness. You are correct. We always forget about that. Gotta we remember that do. fucking razor thing, yo. It's probably too late now, anyway. It's fine. <laughs> Next time. We keep forgetting. That's okay. It's because you've had it forever. You've That's why we should get used forever. to it. That's why we should get used to it. But it's hard to remember, because it's like... Yeah, obviously, if we're like, you know, doing a bite attack, it's kind of obvious that we're going to do flinch, but water gun flinch is not a normal thing, so... A dark energy surrounds the Sceptile's arm. A scythe-like blade extending forth from it as it swipes at Riley, narrowly missing. It feels uncomfortably familiar for you. Hmm. Oh, good! I know what you're doing, and I don't like it. I don't know. Should I know? No, probably okay. not. Uh-oh. Bro, guess what? It's your turn! Okie dokie. You haven't been knocked out. It's a miracle. <laughs> he hasn't been hit yet. He's still reason. two out of six? Okay. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Yeah, he got punched really hard. We're going to metronome a physical attack and move against this thing. We want to nuke it. I mean, he can't even dodge. He's oh, done. He's out of dice. <laughs> yeah, the Sceptile is literally out of dice. You're welcome. Alright, accuracy with metronome first, yeah. Uh, That would be four dice for an accuracy roll. Yeah. Ah. I mean, it's gonna hit. That's all that matters. Oh wait, that two that wasn't four. Okay. <laughs> Right, because it doesn't have any dice left, so it can't even try to dodge. Roll me three dice. Oh, wait, no, hang on. You're doing a physical move. I'm sorry, it's not any move. Uh, okay, roll me two dice. What will you land on? Because Tucker's probably going to combo with you so he doesn't lose his move. <laughs> Two. Ice ball! Oh. That's the physical. That's a good move, actually. In this situation. Uh, <clears throat> yep. Strength plus one. Successive actions. Add one extra dice to the damage roll of the last ice ball hit the user performs. If the Pokemon use defense curl this round, add plus one extra dice to the damage roll of every hit. The user curls into a snowball, rolling against the foe. The ball grows bigger as it rolls. Oh my god. This, this, he's gonna just keep doing this. <laughs> so wait. So... What's it do? I'm kinda confused. It's like roll out. So, oh, okay. Yeah, roll out but ice. So Ooh. I did six I meant to do one or meant to do uh five. Oh. Um Okay. Uh wait, hang on, let me check typing. Yeah, it's super effective. Ow. So yeah, that, that die is justified. Yeah. Well, it should just be plus one damage, but say, same amount. Whatever, we'll just um, call it. It's it's whatever. Okay, so do you want to use Ice Ball again? 
It doesn't have to wait till the next round and just continually do it at increasing it's damage. Successive actions. Successive okay. action moves can be performed at, within the same round. Hey, uh, yeah, I'll keep rolling around with Ice Ball. Uh, so it's one less dice now. Uh, two. Four. Two less. Two less for accuracy, so unfortunately you can only do it once more. So, in other words, roll two dice. Or three dice, right? Yes. Two dice. Two dice? Okay. Two dice. Hey. Yeah, that's a hey. two. And now uh, strength is down to four instead of six. Or is the uh, strength uh, it's still six? Still the same? Yeah, your damage still stays the same. It's only well, he had he technically had five dice and it was a plus one, so this would be three dice plus one, correct? No, it doesn't change. Oh, okay. No. Oh, okay. It's, well, all right then. Yeah, it doesn't change. Well, lucky, Holy lucky shit! Done. Oh, whoa, okay. Okay. Oh, he's dead. All right, you killed him. Good job. <laughs> Yeah, I'm dizzy. Oh. Okay. Well, alright then. So, once again, Ralph proves well. that he is the VIP. Making the How random- do you want to squish this thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm like a pancake. <laughs> so, Rolls Ralph... under, and when I stop, it's flat, and I'm sitting on <laughs> So Ralph uses metronome as he is wont to do, and suddenly ice forms around him, creating this crystalline sphere of frost. And then, like a hamster ball, he starts to run towards the septile, building up momentum. And at first, it's just roll, 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 dink. And he ends up rolling back because of the momentum, and rolls partially up the hill. And then he careens down the hill towards the septile, flattening it in an impact that shatters the ball of ice, leaving him sitting on a mostly flattened septile. You, you killed it. It's, it's just dead. <clears throat> hmm. Well then. Impressive it's work. important to keep your salad on ice if you have it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. I have a question, because I must interject here. Um, the Bulbasaur, are they still slightly behind because they were kind of coming up? Yes. Okay. Um, is there a way that instead of attacking them directly, because I'm going to be doing my uh, Tucker's roll now, um, is it can he swath the Dark Pulse between Ralph and them, basically, to... Uh, this is not an attack. This is not a damage attack. This is an intimidation attack, basically. So, you would like to intimidate. The okay. Sceptile just fainted. Get the fuck out of here, Bulbasaur, basically. Roll me the damage pool of Dark Pulse first. Okay. That'd be special plus three, so five dice. Okay, and then give me a tough contest to intimidate. Okay. Uh, which I'm actually not too bad with. Another five dice. I still think it's funny that Riley has absolutely no contest social skills. <laughs> That's pretty so, impressive at this point, actually. While you do throw the dark pulse, and it creates this dark wave between the Bulbasaurs and Ralph, unfortunately, they don't seem to be very intimidated by your tactic. Dang it. They, they do these little at you in advance. Damn zombie plants. You can't you can't scare zombies. Well, they're not necessarily zombies. Hmm. Well, they're not quite the deerling, I suppose. Charm, there was a new art. Oh, where to go? Was implies it's gone. It's not gone. <laughs> it was there, and then it's gone. You missed it. No, it's no. now it's the Bulbasaur's turn. <laughs> Nicely done. One of them shakes back and forth a few times, and the bulb on their back shudders and then ruptures. 
releasing a cloud of whitish spores. At Ralph. <laughs> Understand? Oh. It's a new rat, it's fine, you have dice. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if, if you want to evade, go ahead. It only has one accuracy die for this. Alright, so that'll be dex, find evasion, for an evasion yes. roll? Yes. Alright. You know, evasion, that one sub-skill that I don't think anybody has, except Riley has put any points into. I've been working on getting that second one for ages. I mean, I'm kind of working towards alert next for a sub-skill. So, uh... All it takes is stepping back and away from the flattened septile to get out of range of the spores. Even being near them seems to make you drowsy. Ooh, that's nasty stuff. Hey, the other one. They, uh, they make paper. They make paper from plants, right? Ralph was just speeding up the process. Oh my god. <laughs> the other one, however, rushes through the Dark Pulse threshold and towards Ralph, attempting to tackle him. Ooh. Because, unfortunately, Ralph is now the primary target. <clears throat> oh no! <laughs> uh, he's got one die to dodge. Oh, uh, I could... Uh, let's see, do I have enough accuracy left to clash the boy? Hmm. Expect well, one... Uh, it would be Dex Fight Clash four, in order to... That's clash. even worse. <laughs> one, two, three... At minus... One, or minus two. two. Three minus two is one. Uh... Yeah, better than nothing. Um, well, can I... I'm raising my hand. Well, Hi. hang on. Uh... Oh, wait, no. It would be Strength Fight Clash, wouldn't it? What do you mean Pooch is a fire t he's, he's a Poochie and he's not a fire type. So he can't learn Fire Fang. Uh, would it be? Sorry, chat was confusing. Yes. It's, it's, the clash rules are slightly different. Mm -hmm. So it is it is uh, just the flat strength fight clash. Yeah, it's not Dex. Dex would be... Basically, oh, I'm sorry. Dex is evasion, yeah. clash is strength. So 4 yes. plus 2 minus 2 is... 4. 4. Yes. I'm yeah, sorry. Basic math of Ralph. I, I <laughs> think he'd be good at it. He's got. He's the one of us with a brain. All right. The sound effect was not needed. Please <laughs> never do that again. I can do that. Don't make him come in there. I can do that. It's okay. According I'll, I'll, I'll actually rules, slurp you later. It's fine. According to the clash rules, it can only roll two damage dice against you now. He did. Well, <laughs> two damage. Still take chip damage. Um, do I do I get to roll um paralyze against it if I clash against it? No. <laughs> you don't get move effects. You just get. Yeah, you don't get move effects, unfortunately. Oh well. Can you imagine you, you somebody... the Bulbasaur? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just gonna say, can you just imagine somebody's come at you with an attack? You're like, yeah, there. It sticks out tongue. <laughs> like, I'm gonna lick you for that <laughs> clash. <laughs> that pretty much the Bulbasaur is just mildly stunned by being licked, and is like, wait, what just happened? How's he taste? Probably terrible. <laughs> like a mushroom, and mm. also frog. Hmm. You're on one health. Doesn't mean he can't be our Gomond. Come on. Wait, did you take two damage, Ralph, or just one? He has defense. Um, yeah, I have, I have defense. Uh, it came out to two. I have three defense, so yeah, so it would have been. The chip. Yeah. And they'll rescue Ranger. <laughs> Alright. Which has Brooke's turn? Eerie quiet hangs over the call. 
Oh, I sorry. Mean, Let me unmute myself so you can hear me eating the sausage dog. It's a little carrier. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I hope carrier is okay. I wonder if he's eating. I'm he fine. Might... I just got distracted by someone. It's okay. That's okay. You did a car. It's fine. So what did I do? <laughs> it's your turn. Uh, it is your turn. Mm -hmm. The septile has been flattened by Ralph, and the Bulbasaurs are closing in. Mm -hmm. You don't like me very much. They're kind of beating up Ralph a lot, so yeah. It would be very sad if I did I don't think you guys could carry You want to keep your distance? That's fair. Alright, fair enough. Social distancing! <laughs> Uses water again. <laughs> Your accuracy rolls are always staggeringly good. <laughs> yeah, now I need to double check. Quite honestly, Ralph, if it still comes to your turn and there's still Bulbasaur's around, you might want a tactical retreat. So, regardless of which Bulbasaur this is... Okay, it can't, well, it, it can't go ahead and roll your damage. And this time we... We never know how to dodge damage. anyway. So are you hitting the one that's closer to you, or the one that's further away? Well, uh, let's say closer. Mm -hmm. Oh, and flinch. Yes, please roll your flinch. Two. Nope, no flinch. That's fine. It is now Tucker's turn. <clears throat> As one of the Bulbasaurs has been watered. Hmm. My god, please stop smacking your lips. Okay. I'm done, so it's fine. <laughs> it was a good sausage dog. I'm gonna rip my ears off. <laughs> Let's see here. You should just be thankful that I only muted because it's my turn. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Tucker will still stick his distance. And this time land a Dark Pulse that is not trying to intimidate and instead trying to attack. He seems a little... He, uh, he channels his flusteredness that they didn't go away after he tried to intimidate them, basically. <laughs> Next fight channel for the uh, roll, let's see. Maybe I should get some points in the channel. Okay, two. two. Which one are you attacking? I don't know. Target's random foe, under normal circumstances. Oh, right. Flip a coin! Heads is the close one, tails is the far one. Alright, here we go. That's not a flip. <laughs> that was yeah. a flip, we just flipped it over. Wait, is that a flip? When you hit R? No. <laughs> there you go. You, what button do you do to flip You it? spam the button! Oh, you spam R. it. Okay. Heads. Heads. Close one. Which means it can't dodge you. Oh, okay. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh god, I... Sorry, I flipped randomly. Alright, uh, roll damage. Let's see. That's a special plus three, so... And don't forget to flinch. I will roll that too. Two. Two. Flinch will also be two, probably, but hopefully we have a six in there. One, and no. Sad. Your Dark Pulse lashes out, and unfortunately, it doesn't necessarily have as much capacity to feel the impact of those amplified negative emotions that most other Pokémon do. Or it's just one tough sucker. <laughs> Still, you all seem to be slowly wearing them down. Riley, it's your turn. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna bone club that close one. <laughs> See if I can make it flinch. Everybody wants to flinch the things. Yeah, it's funny. Take this! Two. Well, I mean, it can't dodge, so... Fantastic. OK. 
Okay, three's three. pretty good. And your flinch? Uh, two dice for flinch. So let's see, bone club. Sad. Can I just add them together to get that six? <laughs> no. Uh, by the way, ground type moves are not very effective against grass. Yeah, I know. I was going for the flint, not for the damage. I just wanted to mention, just in case. It wasn't state. I just noticed, so. Is it dead? No. You bonk it with your bone club, and it's starting to look worse for wear. But it's certainly not down yet. I'll use quick attack on it. Okay. Take this! I just smack it upside the head. Well, <laughs> it's a hit. Somehow. It's just, it's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just imagining you bringing the bone club down, whacking its head, and then bringing your paw backwards and just... <laughs> Backhanding it. <laughs> it's an incredibly better effect than the other attack. That's be fair here. Uh, yeah. You know, I don't know why I didn't multi-attack, actually. Because <laughs> you don't want to bite them? I... that's not true? Well, Tucker, I mean, Tucker'd rather them run off, of but that... Most of you seem really squidgy about getting close to these things. Especially when also to use teeth as attacks. I, I'm just punching them, Tucker it's fine. Tucker threw up. I, he just doesn't want to be near the, the bad smelling things anymore. It can help it. Look, I can wash my hands a lot easier than you can wash out your, your mouths with soap. Just saying. <laughs> Is it unconscious yet? True. No, it is not. Jesus, no, it is not very mad at you. I punch Instead it with force palm. Jesus. It actually literally die! has the problem with being unable to dodge. <laughs> die, you coward. I know you're, you're actually tracking its health this time. That's kind of weird. We, I don't think we've ever done that in, in the initiatives before. I did it with the models. Oh. I would just put it in the description so you wouldn't see it readily. Oh. Okay. This is for it's... sake of my sanity. Fair enough. Fuck. <laughs> this sucks. I'm gonna go for the paralyze. Come on, paralyze. Let's, just, let's make something happen here. There. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Finally. Loses two points in dexterity. <laughs> you can probably barely move. Nope. Ah, fantastic. You can still move. I said barely move. Well, it seems slowed down, but its motor functions still seem viable despite your force palm. It's almost like a Paris, in a way. I the bulbous hmm. shroomy cyst upon its back seems to be capable of jump-starting its motor functions here and there, though it kind of generates a jerky, unsettling set of movements. Right. I want to use copycat to copycat its tackle and tackle it. Okay. I was wondering if you were gonna do that. Yes. <laughs> I've run out of moves, so it's time to do that. Let's go, boys. Ah, oh, fuck. Nope. <laughs> you try to copycat, but you realize you have winded yourself. <laughs> it runs on four legs. I run on two. How do you tackle on four leg? How do you tackle with two leg? I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand. Know Is that tackle but fast? I mean, basically. <laughs> how do I translate? How do you do not know? It is Ralph's turn. <laughs> I used all my dice. I couldn't even KO this turtle. Ralph Riley is being nice and causing the Bulbasaur to not pick on you. <laughs> Alrighty, I have like no dice left for attack and I'm at a minus four penalty at the moment, so uh... uh... <clears throat> Tactical retreat time! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna retreat. Okay, so you're, you're retreating oh. away towards the back of the group, I see. Okay. <laughs> oh god, they're coming for me! Gary, 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 I need... Okay. Well, you can always use this time to, like, do something else that does not require a move. Mm -hmm. 
like running away. I mean, yes, uh, he can run away. He could try rummaging through one of your bags, <laughs> rummaging through his bag. Oh, oh yeah, I have a reviver seed. Maybe you should grab that. <laughs> Cause I'm like not even injured, and you're nearly dead. You probably need it more than me. Yeah, I'll, I... <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, t I'll toss that, that over there. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I will hold it. Uh... My bag is very empty now. <laughs> It does say, though, feed the seed to a Pokemon that just lost conscious. I, I do wonder if it works, like, in the games, though, where you, if you just, you can just act. Last, last time there was Reviver Siege used, they were in Riley's bag and they took it automatically. That was against the Mighty Anna. Okay. I mean, that makes sense in my opinion. Because that's how the games did it. And it, it, that Mighty Anna got really mad. <laughs> I remember it fondly. And also not fondly. <laughs> Alright, I think it's their turn now. Alright then. So, if that's Prowse's turn... It's time for Bulbasaur A! This one is going to try and move over to the Sceptile. Hey, somebody roll a die to see what the weather's like. Uh... I'm not allowed to do these anymore, so someone <laughs> else has got to do it. <laughs> You're afraid of doing it. No, I'm not. That's, that's a lie. I'll take the three. Oh, well, what's the first one rolled, so I'd go for it too. Well, Sandstorm isn't possible, but... Sandstorm? We, we, yes. We, we will consider it as if it's a sandstorm of sorts. Unfortunately, it's not sunny. It's more like... Windy, cloudy... And there's leaves and stuff in the air that are obscuring full sunlight. Okay. Blustery, cloudy weather, then. What the hell is this? A lot of dice. Four fours. It seems to semi root itself on the back of the flattened septile. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to have succeeded in whatever it's doing... yet. Other Bulbasaur, though... <laughs> ...is angry! I mean, fair! <laughs> it shakes in place and wobbles. And then, the bulb on its back... ...does, does nothing. nothing. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> idiot! <laughs> Disgruntled, it attempts to tackle Riley. Bro, I'm gonna... I'm gonna dodge. I'm out. There you go. Tag Nabble. Toros! <laughs> you outta here. <laughs> Tag Nabble. Can't touch this. It run, waddle, hops, you know, the weird Bulbasaur run at Riley and fails to tackle him. But I just Instead, like casually steps to the side. The <laughs> oh, Sliding part way up at the base of the hill in the process. Rather far removed from its ally. Hmm. Which makes it Brook's turn. So can kill it, Brook. <laughs> Do 
Chippy music plays. Chippy? Jeopardy. Oh. <laughs> Is Kario here? Yes. He is. What did you just use, Kario? Or if Kario's aware that he might, if he's talking, we don't hear him. At least I don't. I don't hear him either. And he's gone. I had a feeling that had something to do with it. I... I do not hear you, Cario. Hang on. I see your mic doing the little pickup thing, but nothing's being said. Hmm. Ice Fang. Okay. Wait, hold on. You hear him now? No, no, he put it in chat. Oh, okay. I disconnected, reconnected, hoping that would fix it. What? I wonder what happened. All right, this is a nice thing. Okay. Um. Uh, hmm. Oh, well then, that is unfortunate. But uh, is this the? Really weak one, or is this the one that's on the septile? Okay. Also, uh, uh, if we all just restarted the call, that might fix the issue. Just random thought. Sure. <laughs> we can do that shortly. You've rolled your damage. Go ahead and roll for flinch and for frozen. I assume that's frozen? Yes. Whichever was your flinch, you get one more die. Not that it mattered, it looks like, but... <laughs> I'm going to assume that Burke just froze that Bulbasaur solid. Okay, let's restart the... Oh, D, okay. Alright. <laughs> Kill the call. Alright, call dies. Alright, maybe, maybe that'll fix it. Test no, Kyrie. I, I cannot hear the Kyrie. Okay, so does well, it have to. Well, if it shows his mic is muted, I see the little muted mic sign. I yeah. don't. I do not see the muted mic. I don't see the muted mic. I see. I think I see when he's trying to talk because it does turn green around his picture, but there's no sound. I, I would assume that something happened locally with his computer and mic situation. Yeah, I see the little no mic. To... Well, now I do, but. <laughs> Hello. Hello. There we go. That's weird. I don't know I, what was going on there. I have no idea either. So the the million dollar question was that a six for Frozen or a flinch? Uh, it was a flinch. Oh, that was flinch. Okay. Oh, okay. Either way, it came back. And that also causes it to be Tucker's turn. Right. Uh. Tucker takes one look at whatever the uh, healthier Bulbasaur is up to and doesn't like it. And so he elects to uh, to romp forward and rush the uh, Bulbasaur on top of the Sceptile's back. 
for a knockdown. Attempting to push the Bulbasaur off of that Sceptile's back. So let's see. Strength Fight Brawl, it's actually a really good roll, so... There we go. Accuracy of four. Okay. Oh, if you right click the die thing before it rolls the die, it'll take one away. Oh, interesting. Oh yeah, look at that. So if you miss roll, just hit right click. Yeah, huh. Anyway, well, it can't dodge. <laughs> I can't even break. I can really like to do that too. <laughs> All right, so I can't. Yeah, obviously I can't dodge. All right, I'll just roll the damage then, and strength plus zero because it's not really meant for damage. Looks like I'll be landing some anyways though. Um. So Tucker just kind of crashes into it with kind of like. Shunting his left shoulder into it first, and uh, just la just impacts on the side of it, trying to uh, basically just tear it off of the septile again. <laughs> well, you managed to deroot the Bulbasaur from the septile, knocking it over and causing it to take a minor spill. He's now prone. Is that all Tucker will be doing? Tucker, oh, actually, uh, I'm sorry. Tucker will then, well, noting that knowing that it that he was successful, and having slight high ground since he's now on top of the septile, he will then leap with a bite, fangs bared, since it is prone. Um, so that is minus two to my accuracy roll. Is that how it works again? Yes. Okay. Which basically just means four dice. Oh. Mm -hmm. Nope. Wow. <laughs> you faceplant. I guess I leaped a little too much. <laughs> uh, you, you leap and stumble, slipping on one of the fruit pods on the septile's back, causing it to tumble off and roll into the underbrush elsewhere. <laughs> There's a mildly ragged wound where it used to be. Oof. Tucker makes a not so graceful faceplant next to the prone Bulbasaur. <laughs> it's like slipping on a marble. <laughs> um. Hmm. Does that. Technically, I do have a nut. Well, no, do I? That'd be a minus four. Let's see. You yeah. probably have one thing left. I... Just dust yourself off and go again. <laughs> I mean, can I do so? Am I? Have I ended my turn? Has Tucker ended his turn by face planting? No. Okay. You can keep using moves as long as you have dice. <laughs> Tucker gets up somewhat awkwardly with his somewhat embarrassing slip, but doesn't mind it too much before uh, lowering his head and uh, giving one more dash into that prone Bulbasaur for this time not leaping because that didn't work out so well last time for a tackle. That will be only two dice, but we'll see. I mean, it's prone, so let's go, right? <laughs> there we go. That's better. <laughs> Less dice equals more better rolls, apparently. Um, okay, strength plus two. Do, 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 do. Three. Oof. And this was a tackle? This is just a basic tackle. Whoomph. Sending the Bulbasaur tumbling again. Almost back to where your Dark Pulse barrier had been laid. <laughs> Still, contrary to their size and their reputation as a starter, these are quite sturdy. 
You can feel them. They're solidly built despite the corruption. Hmm. It's not like the Huss you fought. If there's nothing else you'd like to do, we will move on to Riley. Tucker is panting a bit because he has indeed winded himself too much to continue attacking. <laughs> At least for right now. All right. So that close one is flinched. It is time to destroy the other one. With, you know, time for time for a bone club to flinch it. They flinch everything. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Flinch. <laughs> That's a hit. What? What? There's a new picture. Oh. Oh god, he's got his AirPods in. Oh god, fuck. <laughs> <clears throat> now we're ready. Do, do, do. It's Randy's turn. Yeah. Two to damage. Woo. Yay. Let's see if you manage the flinch. flinch. Damn it. <laughs> no flinch for Unless. you. Alright, what are you doing next, Riley? I don't force palm it. Also, it appear Rai Guy also did a little comic of sorts? I'll go ahead and post this. <laughs> oh well. Alright. Alright, come on, seven damage. Let's go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pretty right. good. That's not bad, that's, actually. That's some damage. <laughs> so, alright, see if you paralyze. Oh, uh, come on, give me that paralyzing. Let me have a bullet of paralyze. Yeah! <laughs> uh, paralyzing king. All right, now I'm gonna just quick attack. <laughs> That's it. The amount of damage I can just pump out in the turn is kind of like ridiculous. <laughs> Not when I'm rolling like that, though. So here's how it goes. Tucker used Dark Pulse, miss. Riley used his aura to bounce Dark Pulse back at the foe. 13 HP. <laughs> I see alternate cat in here. All right. <laughs> uh, so, is, is that is that I'm all? Uh, hold on. I'm gonna do a strike <laughs> with one die for accuracy. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> it's still five dice for damage. Come on, five. Okay, three. Not bad. Is it down? <laughs> <laughs> I've been punching into a Pummel into this solid, prone Bulbasaur. <laughs> this poor, solid, prone Bulbasaur. What are you made of? <laughs> Apparently, sturdier stuff than you. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's prone on the ground getting the shit kicked out of it. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you go, Ralph. I'm out of dice. <laughs> I got nothing left. <laughs> Ralph, you ran to the back of your group, Ooh. now currently wailing on these Bulbasaurs. Alright, we'll, we will roll a special um, metronome from back. That's fair. That way you can stay back. Do that with sharp because I can find my pistol. That's fine, dude. Do 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 do. Dex Victor. <laughs> All right. 
that for I guess him for no blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's target Bulbasaur A since he has a little more health. I think I can knock it out in one hit if I get lucky on type. You know, I just realized there's something I forgot for the last three sessions. No? Oh, it's fine. You go ahead. I'm just gonna fix it while I think about it. Alright, so a special move, you say? Mm hmm. That'll do. Get Silverwind. Ooh. Ooh. Do I do I belch it? Like Oh god. <laughs> oh. Your damage is special plus two. And then you get to roll a chance die to increase your strength, dexterity, special defense, and special defense. Nice. Oh, that was as high as it could have been. Smack. Alright, here's a chance. And what I get? Unfortunately, you, you did not boost your stats. Ah, darn. Alright, they're well, both teetering. Metronome, you inhale, holding your breath, hoping it'll be good, and then you get that gurgly, bubbly feeling in your tummy, <laughs> and you belch forth a silver wind Bruh. deep within your colon. <laughs> Hi, I chased the image that hasn't been chased for a while next to the table. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Nausicaa! Yes! Also, I just realized, like, if we can't right click, if the right right clicking makes the roller lose dice, then how the fuck do I right click to unlock them? Wait. Of course, I can just. There, nah. So, so I was like, I was trying to figure out a slight issue. There we go. Yeah. There you go. No, the right click only works if you're on the button. Ah, I see. The edge of it. The edge of it still works. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I just wanted to move this, so. A little bit. And Nausicaa's a good movie. Yeah, I thought, I thought that'd be a good image for that. Would have been more appropriate the last two sessions, but still appropriate here, so. It's still quite appropriate. I like it. I mean, yeah, it's not necessarily that fungal, but still. There's a bit of fungalness going on, though. I've had a pretty fun yeah. time. Fungal time. <laughs> Ralph would be proud. All right, it's the Bulbasaur's turns. Well, uh, I believe it's Bulbasaur A has to spend its turn, spend an action to get up, meaning it can't do jack all. Ah. <laughs> oh wait, it can. Oh. <laughs> Sad. Quick, someone roll to see if the weather changed. Oh. Uh. One says this. Well. One? Guess what? It's sunny. Oh god. We don't like that. Bad for Brooke. Hmm. It is? Oh yeah, it is. Extending tendrils. It latches onto the septile and pumps it full of solar energy. And in the process, the bubble sore withers a bit and faints. Meanwhile, the septile stirs. Oh god. Damn it, we knocked it off so I wouldn't do this. <laughs> or at least Tucker did. I didn't, didn't hit it hard enough. Didn't hit it quite hard enough. If I hadn't if he hadn't face planted that bite, <laughs> it probably would have been fine. <laughs> and with a hiss, the 
It attacks the nearest of you to it. That would be Tucker. Unless, yeah, probably. I mean, both Tucker and Riley are pretty close. Who, well, did Riley punch that Bulbster last? Was that the last thing? I believe so. Right. But Tucker hopped off the oh. tile a moment ago, too. So it's hard to say. Uh, then it would be Tucker. Oof. So, uh, that's a... Th is that an accuracy roll? That is an accuracy roll. Okay. Um... Man, it's been a while since I've put been put in the situation. How the fuck do I dodge again? Uh, Dex Flight Evasion. Okay. Yes. Uh, Meaning you I, have to get a three on four dice. Yeah, that's a little tricky. Um, can I cover Tucker? Cover an ally on Tucker? Uh, sure. This is reasonable because Tucker is probably. Well, uh, actually, no, it's not a ranged attack. It only works in ranged. Really? Ah. The user is more likely to get attacked. It may provide cover against ranged attacks. Huh. Hmm. 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 How did we rule it before, audience? Do you remember? I, th I, I remember just being like a body block. Uh, oh, right. Basically replacing the target with yourself. Yeah. I mean, my dad, if you just jump in the way, it doesn't matter if it's range or physical, as long as you have time to yeah. do that. Yeah, well, if you're jumping in the way... I'm jumping in the way. I'm fast, and the fastest one here. Alright. This is fair, because Tucker is probably facing away from the Sceptile, given he hopped off oh, into it's a... Fine. Dinosaur. <laughs> it's fine. It's oh. fine. So, it activates the slashing move from before, and nicks Riley. I'd like to think it like just nicks my the metal bits of my hand. <laughs> it does like nothing. Pretty sure Night Slash is a dark move too. <laughs> it's not on a minus one against me as well. Yep. So it does nothing. It just does nothing. No, you still take chip. Out of, it minus one on one. One minus one is zero. You still take chip. It's zero damage. <laughs> It's still you still take chip. Our rules for That's chip damage. My our rules for chip damage, if I recall, was that if any damage is successfully landed, then uh. Well, oh, it wasn't though. It's it, it wasn't successful. Yes, mm. it successful. It still hit you. Meh. The attack was successful. How it impacted you was less successful. <laughs> it's very unsuccessful. It basically face planted. If if, it, if you weren't there though, it would have been one damage. So thus, the attack is successful. Sadly. Sadly. Sad. Sadly for you, but you saved Tucker some some punishment. Guess what? No, I can use Night Slash, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the last attack, right? Yes. Who said it stopped? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. What do you mean? Who said it stopped? I mean, it could attack well, again. I suppose that's reasonable. It oh. is attacking again. Is it attacking me? Yes. Okay. Is that evade on a minus two? It honestly isn't a bad... I'm gonna clash, actually. Clash on a minus two? That's... But I'm gonna use Force Pawn to just block it. I, I, I saw Sorry. a comic where we only blocked the sword with, with Force Pawn. You know what? I'm gonna do exactly that. Let's go. Two. <laughs> I mean, All right. that's fine. Do, 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 how much damage is this? Alright. I mean, there's all the stuff that Riley tries to pull as things he saw on YouTube one time. S sorry, was that Kyra? Right. So I think half the things that Riley tries to do are things he saw on YouTube one time. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> Especially from uh, the Force Unleashed, actually. Uh, for, well, rare Force Power being able to block lightsabers with your hands. <laughs> it only comes up like once ever in the main media. <laughs> it's kind of freaking great. So, it shifts its arm a bit and gives you a chop on the shoulder. And it tries to do so again. 
dodge at a minus four? I'll do that. <laughs> I'll play your game. I'll just freaking step side. Hell yeah. <laughs> this time it whiffs. Unable to hit you or Tucker. <laughs> Which makes it the other Bulbasaur's turn. <laughs> it is still paralyzed, so we got that going for it. Wait, it, it's flinched, isn't it? Uh huh, it's it flinched. is flinched. Flinched and paralyzed. Sad. <laughs> Which one is, by the way? The Saptar? Oh, sorry, it's Brook's turn. The Bulbasaur. Oh, the bulb. The, the useless Bulbasaur is doing nothing, I assume. Yeah. <laughs> is the Sceptile, like, fully. seeming fully revitalized? Yes. I see. Alright, get that other Bulbasaur before it heals the uh, thing again. Tucker actually takes a look towards uh, Riley and goes, Thanks, Riley! Before giving a weary glance at the Sceptile who. Should be down right now, but isn't. <laughs> I'm not ice fine. fang the septile too. The time to keep your distance is, has passed, I suppose. Hey guys, I can still do one action <laughs> on my turn as an attack. All right, plink. The, I have plink, enough dice for one more. <laughs> plink the Bulbasaur. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just or, punch it. So, lest it bring the septile back to life again. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's going to be a, a hit, regardless of who you pick. <laughs> we both exhausted ourselves again. <laughs> this happens a lot. And that's plus one because ice is super effective, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. Which one are you hitting? The septile. Ah. Septile, septile. Getting hurt. Roll for... Is that flinch or frozen? That's flinch, because three dice. Okay. Oh, it double freeze! <laughs> so, Brooke, you have had enough of reanimating shit. <laughs> and this septile in general. And as you... Bite into the septile. Your fangs freeze over and its locomotion locks up. And frost begins to form on its scales until it's nothing more than a life size septile statue. With some artistic license, of course. Congratulations, you took out the enemy in one go. <laughs> good God for that. Now spit water at the Palbasaur for good measure. Yeah, <laughs> just get rid of that You just need to hit it. It's, it's done. <laughs> Teach that Bulbasaur a lesson about having friends that hawk loogies. Yeah. Just kick it. <laughs> He's not even doing a move, just kick it. Just kick it? <laughs> I mean, you could. Strike, yeah, I honestly, I would, call, I would call that a strike. Yeah, I would call that the yeah, basic strike, strike move if you just want to kick it. So, dex fight brawl minus two for the accuracy. Which is still a pretty respectable five dice, so. Good enough. <laughs> yeah, it's a hit. It's all we need. Yup. It's hit. <laughs> And strength plus one for if you are actually rolling strike, because that would be amusing. <laughs> you get zero damage. Don't say that. Oh, uh, I'm sorry! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Cursed. It's actually made of stone. <laughs> but Razor Fang! No, okay. Oh my god! Cursed! It's really bad! <laughs> so, after... Uh... Dealing that very dry ice fang to 
the septile, you turn and try to spray water at the Bulbasaur, and you just manage to, like, drool a little. <laughs> Actually, all he was doing oh, was kicking good. it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I thought you, you were... stopped my toe. I don't, I don't know why you were water cutting. I guess you decided you wanted to kick it, but then... <laughs> Your body decided you wanted to water gun again because you've already done it twice before. So you open your mouth to say something woody as you go to kick it and you drool a little. And it's like, really? <laughs> What's funny is he does have a knife dice if he wanted to water gun it too. It'd be a minus four to special fight channel, right? That would be three dice. Let's well, just let someone yeah. else take care of it. <laughs> You're done? He's like, ah, oh, fuck it, we're done here. He's embarrassed. This is the Brook mentality. Brook is the leader. He delegates it. He delegates it to someone else. It's Tucker's turn. Tucker, take care of it. It's your turn. Tucker, you figure it out. I've got one die. You figure this out. Uh, yeah, Tucker will... There's a line. Someone take out that thing. Brook. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tucker will gauge the situation and kind of saunter over to the rather disabled but not entirely unthreatening Bulbasaur. Stand over it, raise a paw, kind of curl the paw like a cat does before they're about to like whack at something really fast. You know what I mean? Like when they're trying to whack <laughs> it, like out. smack it. And and Tucker is going to strike with a smack of his paw. I swear to god, if you get a zero... <laughs> Better not. I have six dice to get accuracy, so... Hopefully that's good enough. Okay. And then, the million dollar question if a strength plus one's enough. I mean... Statistically yes. speaking... It was... Yes, there you yeah. go. <laughs> bap! Right on the... Right in the Bulbasaur's head. Bap! Bap! <laughs> It's what Tucker does until, until it finally faints. <laughs> then he looks slightly satisfied with himself. It's 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 like one of those cats. It's just bap, 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 <laughs> bam, and the Bulbasaur <laughs> just stays down. Well, that was eventful. <laughs> <laughs> so you you've defeated your assailants now how are you getting up the hill i mean you said we could just walk so i'm just gonna walk how are you going to deal with the poisonous foliage bushes and vines that are in your way or are you just going to follow the clear path and spiral up and take the long route i'm gonna just spiral up Tucker will take a long, careful path. Also, I love how it's somebody just caps locked. So, when did they get models? Since, since session one. <laughs> or zero, <Yes>. rather. <laughs> Can we get custom models? Someone make us custom models. Custom models? That'd be insane. Yeah, give me some. Give me a custom edge of Eolic. I, I no. mean, I'd be down for that. Yeah. It, it would be nice, but no, don't, don't prompt the audience for that. Why not? <laughs> Like, like, here to enjoy. <laughs> well, ten sessions from now, so I was like, "Hey, I've got a model." We should be like, "What?" <laughs> There'd be a line to read. That's okay, Cinnamon. I just find your surprise amusing. Gonna read, read that line. What's that red thing on Riley's face? That's that's the hand in the background. It's my eyes. Burke spits out a bit of water. Blech. I need to stop putting these things in my mouth. <laughs> Tucker kind of goes. And considers the fact that he missed the bite to maybe not be a bad thing. Oh, 
Cooperative tile, cooperative tile! It's time for the cooperative tile! <laughs> Is that a soda tile? Is that like a water tile? <laughs> How the heck are we supposed to get around <laughs> to the freaking thing just here? Gen that, that's just a general area. <laughs> As you all make your way up the spiraling path of the hill, eventually you find yourselves on a slightly more straight path. Oddly enough, this area is... cleaner. There's less pollution. It's almost as if the pollution is trying to reach inward. Several splattering bits of it seem to be almost like tendrils reaching out. Vines hanging off towards the cleaner bits, but not quite making it. The hmm. more corrupted trees leaning towards the inside, groaning under their own weight. And pleasantly enough, despite the circumstances, there is sunlight, dappled though it may be, coming in through the canopy. Hmm. You think at one point this place may have actually been beautiful. As they walk forward, Tucker uh, nudges over to Ralph. Hey, you're not looking too great. I, I still have an orange berry if you want it. Ellipses. Hey, Tubby, you still here? Oh, he's dead. Is he dead? Oh dear. Actually, in that case, let's let's take a short break for a bit because I need to use the bathroom and like. I'll go for drink it. Something. I'll try to find Tubby in the meantime. Can't believe you lost him. I mean, he's still in the call. Yeah, he's still in the call, but he's not responding. I swear he wasn't eight, said Mist incriminatingly. Hmm. Oh, Beerus, you fell asleep? Ah, oh, during the large segment we did involving pause, too. Hmm. That's such a shame. They even fought a Venomoth, and it won. <laughs> and the lamp came back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that's just a flat out lie. <laughs> <laughs> I've called upon Tubby, but nothing happened. Where did where did Derp Face go exactly? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, hey! Well, here's an update for you guys. As I was mentioning mm -hmm. earlier, I do have a third table coming along for Tabletop Simulator. Uh, something that I completed and then it needed to be revamped for a few reasons. And I was getting help on the revamp. It looks like the revamp's done. Um, I'll wait for a few seconds. Oh, you exist. Yeah. I've been saying stuff. I, I, I haven't. No, you haven't. You've been... What was the last thing Tubby said? What was the last thing Tubby it's, said? It's been a while. It's been a while, Tubby. You've been uh, un unhearable for a while now. Hmm. Hmm. Anything we should know that you said that we apparently missed? Um, this is just... It's been longer than, than I thought. It's just like you guys were fighting. The, I... I tend to, like, during a combat, I try not to talk out of 
you know, turn because nice. you know, you're doing math and stuff and But yeah, I find it a courtesy to like not do a whole lot of chatter when it's not your turning time. That's fair. Uh if you said anything post battle, we did not hear it. I didn't. I went and got a peach cup. Oh, okay. You've been, oh, oh, I thought you went. I thought you were having a mic issue like Mario. Okay, never mind then. All right. Well, would you like me to repeat what Tucker just did involving Ralph? Oh yes. Okay. So we moved on to the next path. We're walking along, and uh, Tucker nudged over to Ralph and said, "Um, you're not looking too hot, Ralph. I, I still have an orange berry if you want it." Yeah. Yeah, that would. That would probably be good. I, I don't feel so good. Oh, okay. I feel like I got beat up by a Hitmonchan, and then I tried to eat the Hitmonchan, but then he beat up my insides and got out of it. <laughs> what an interesting description. <laughs> there, you have, you have orange berry put on your, on your uh, avatar. Eat it. And then I'll throw it away. There you go. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. <laughs> it's only one damage heal, but hey, it helps. It lets you take. Yeah, you could survive one plank damage. Hooray? Yeah. yeah. By the way, why don't we have a ton of berries just laying it up top above the Game Boy? Yeah. <laughs> Throwing them away, or they're just a common item and we keep them there to, to dupe them? Well, I mean, we could. Yeah, we, this is a duplication section. Alright, that's fair, but we don't actually need the duplicates of. Okay, those. Like, well, this is the stuff we had at the start of this. Fair. And this is what we've used up at the start. Uh, wow, we've well, with the exception of the, cli the camping and climbing gear, they got all through a lot of shit. I'll just delete the duplicates here, like the extra lumberry and the extra orangeberry. It's probably the stuff that we spent on shamans. Yeah. Okay, there, I deleted the extras. And before he's keeping it, dead, give us uh, it back later. Like the shaman is like, here, we brought you stuff. Or just to, as it's if it's on the table, it's easy to go control C, control V, too, so. Yeah. There we go. Little, little organization. Also, there's just some money up here, which makes me wonder if somebody was getting paid or somebody was spinning for something. Looks like 330 money is just sitting up here. Anybody know anything about I that? I spent a lot of money on training. Okay. Oh, well, once he's back, I'll ask. Basically, I'm just removing uh, assets here and there because less assets on the table, less leg, you know. Less load time. When less you load time, too. Yeah. So. Actually, on that yeah. note. Table takes a solid like 45 seconds to load in. Yeah, it takes a bit. It, there's a lot going on on this table. Oh, there's also a bunch of gold nestle up here too. Though the gold, see, even the gold there makes sense considering. The gold's always been there. Yeah. Well, I could delete two, three of them. I think I will, unless there's a the reason. Gold's not to. always been there like that. That you put them there like that. Oh, they just never. Get, there's no place for them, so I'll just delete them down to one gold, so that that way it can be copied. You, you can actually delete all of those things. We can just remake custom cards. Okay, what about the money and the gold? I don't know what that's there for. So. Oh, that's just old money for easy access. Okay. Because they're already stacked. Like there's thirty there and three hundred there. We can just get rid of it. Well, here, if you want easy access, like for easy copy, we can just do that. Like so. There we well, go. I could just pull it out. That's true. Actually, there. we have the. Those are infinite money things, so we don't need those. The gold, though. I'll just put it here. There. <laughs> put it below the money. All right. Okay. Gold. Oh, galley. <laughs> Speak not of the yellow ore. Okay, here's a badly drawn picture of Riley throwing Tucker, according to Serio. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. Okay, transparency is weird with this picture, but that's alright. <laughs> you can't see my cape. It's invisible. <laughs> it is in the picture normally, but transparencies are weird with tabletop sealer, so. In, in that they don't actually, it just becomes black, so. 
But uh, <laughs> I am the void. Yeah, stream's been fine since restarting after router reset. Which, by the way, dear, I'm half tempted to fucking reset the router before every stream now. Don't. No. No. It, it, if I see issues, I'll have to, of course. But it does seem like a little frequent. It seems like it always gets fixed by doing that. So. All right. Also, sorry to hear that, Sether. You can always, uh, you can ask people here what happened, or if you don't get any answers, you, uh, you can always just watch back on YouTube to find out what you missed. Um, but, nah. I'm gonna mess with the battle initiative here. And by mess with it, just delete it. I mean. Okay, there we go. While we're waiting, I wanted to ask, is Aragon represented more as a Charmander or Riolu? Well, he used to be a Charmander. Puppy now. Puppy now. Rebranded. He kept playing puppies over and over again, so he decided to rebrand as a puppy for his main character, too. I'm like, it wasn't my fault this most so recent cool. time. <laughs> it's not my fault the original Rally got cloned and now he exists again a thousand years in the future. Not his fault. He's not my fault either. Three iterations of Riley have existed in three different games now. Yes. <laughs> the poor boy cannot rest in peace. You know, if I were in your shoes, I'd be like, oh my god, I'm sick of playing a real loop. But, you oh, he's know. so fun. <laughs> he's got such chaotic energy, I love him. He's my child. Then again, can I really argue with the idea of playing a Poochie in three different D&D games? I'm not sure. I'm not sure I could argue that. Same character, three very different circumstances. Look, if I run more games for you guys, I just... Different characters, please. As much as I enjoy these characters, different characters, please. Well, I mean, the next game's gonna be a Mega Man X game for you, I bet, so... Well, we'll, we'll see. There's... Oh, oh um, I could come up with a really cool uh, Maverick Hunter character for sure. I can't find a good tabletop rule set for Mega Man or Mega Man X, but there is a mecha tabletop game that I can and have the rules for. Ooh, reskin it. I get it. Well, yeah, we can reskin it, or you can determine what you want to do with it when you guys see the rules, because it's very easy to get those rules there for you. Okay. Yep, Myriad Song might be a good Mega Man rule set, because it's already a rule set set in the future. Hmm. Rule set, 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 set in the future. <laughs> a lot of set there. Yeah. Someone said I thought and I went back to Egypt. <laughs> and it's got rules for, uh, for a robot race. And by the way, Set is often mis misrepresented because he's not just an asshole, he's also the protector of Lower Egypt and the god of storms, and without storms you don't get rain. Mm -hmm. What a pain. Also the god of fennec foxes, so screw you, adorable. That explains the asshole part too, though. <laughs> I don't care if he makes assholes. Uh, I mean, I know foxes are, are foxes are in general are adorable, but foxes in a general are also assholes. They have such moods. Yes, but would pet. Would pet. Would pet. Ten out of ten would pet again, regardless of the electrocution. <laughs> So about this about this path, you said the the poisonous trees and such were bending, like which way? D towards the center of the garden, towards rather the than okay. standing upright and sort of groaning under their own weight. Hmm. Astorable? That's what people usually call my butt. Don't misrepresent the word. <laughs> Sorry, 8,000. I'm not a fan of the Fennekin line. It's the ear hair. Oh, you don't like them? I didn't know that. The, there's just too much, like, floof in the ear. 
huh. and I'm not fond of like the turn from like cute fox thing to magical girl to kind of witch Onmyoji. I I mean I agree with that. I mean you could just dial down the toughs for your you know custom Finnegan ca character. But... I would very much rather that it not be magical girl witch Onmyoji. I would very much rather a not humanoid starter. Yes. Too many of that. Too many of that. I don't know why that is. Why is it all? What's up with all the humanoid slash anthroish kind of starters for the evolutions? I'm not sure. I I'm sure Nintendo realizes it's very popular, but like it only Watch makes sense old. for a few generations before it becomes more suspect. I mean, I have a hunch, and this is gonna sound really scathy, but in my opinion, I think I think humans just enjoy it when animals have a humanoid shape because of a mix of vanity and f familiarity. I'll just be blunt suppose, about this. But like, it, and I don't mean to complain or get off track, but like with Sword and Shield, it was really blatant. At least for uh, Rillaboom, it's acceptable, but the other two. The other two didn't need to be that humanoid, and that score bunny didn't need its final evolution to be that weirdly proportioned. I mean, furries are just anthropomorphized animals, unless you're not fucking anthro- <coughs> I'm feral- <laughs> Okay. Well, yes, I'm, I'm aware of this. <laughs> I, I'm aware of all of this! <laughs> no, I was just a dressing boy. I'm Ferals aware. represent, holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, at least MLP brought in a whole bunch of, uh, feral, uh, well, Still after I mean, some... Yeah, I mean, feral's after- well, I mean, like, that's a good example for Aspen. He's feral, but he can stand too late to do things. Can we put a stem on this conversation now that Kyrie back? Uh, sure. Yes, uh, welcome yeah. back, Kyrie. Sorry. So, so, what was the decision oh. reached by Ralph? So are we sure Kyrie doesn't like the conversation? Because it involves, like, transforming people into things. Well, we are here for a reason, aren't we? Yes, I am. Well, yes, wasn't Tucker when I left in the middle of giving Ralph a berry? Or trying? Yeah, you stepped yeah. away, and Ralph, I... Ralph got back, and then I just finished the thing with Ralph, so Ralph has got received... Go ahead. Yeah, yeah I'm wanting okay. to be higher. <laughs> I mean, yes, sir. Honestly, I'm most interested in characters that have both kind of feral and anthro traits. That's how I treat my Charmeleon. And actually, on that note, Kairos kind of like that too with his raptor. So, which direction are you all going? Riley still has the general ping of its. In We're going left. Near vicinity. Okay. Huh. <laughs> You're just gonna move it at this point. Well, yes, but also it was just general vicinity. It's towards the center of the island. True. <laughs> As you head towards this path, you start to realize that you're beginning to go up what looks to be a curling ramp made up of either an ancient tree or root of some kind. And around you, you see... dens? Homes? There's a multitude of natural-looking holes and a variety of sort of built-up... You could call them huts, but they look like little mounds covered in grass and some... Well, at the moment, withered flowers, decorated in vines with colorful leafage. Are these hobbit holes but for shaman? I mean, are shaman not the hobbits of the Pokemon world? Hmm. Are yeah, you not about kinda... to go attack a golem? Uh, depends on how much shaman smoke. <laughs> yeah. I how mean, many breakfasts do they have? I mean, can, can you smoke kudzu? Hmm. I don't know what that is. So is this a tr is uh, this so what's this? It was it's a tree then a single tree. It looks like at least from your perspective, 
like a very large ramp that's mossed over and had greenery growing on it for some time. Mm-hmm. Almost like a big bent log, except it doesn't sound or feel all that hollow. So it feels more like ground. Um, anybody who's played Monster Hunter World, the giant tree and how its roots curl around, kind of like that. But there is uh, no giant tree on this island. You did not see a giant tree on this island. There is no giant tree. Oh, so it you're like, okay, I get it. Like, the roots of a giant tree is kind of what you mean by the ramp. But there's yes. no tree. There so is just, no tree. It's just like giant roots about a tree, then. Okay. Maybe there used to be a tree. Mm. They chopped it down. I mean, if someone chopped it down, they've got a mighty big axe. Does it look? I'm oh, very determined. You mean like a certain Riolu? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which the Pokemon just keeps using that over and over and over. And it grows quiet here. Activity seems to have sort of stopped. Like you've entered a place where time has come to a crawl. Should I stop the music since you said that? Yes. Okay. Uh, so basically this root ramp, it has, there's like little um, holes or caves underneath it, so to speak. Yes, and there are little mounds sort of lining along the side of it, or in nearby, tr- or nearby trees have holes in them that have, sort of. You could call them bulbous pods that have been wrapped around them, made of, you know, healthy green leafage, vines, and various other plant matter. And is this whole area technically healthy? Yes. So these are there deliberately is no trace. Mm-hmm. No trace of the pollution or corruption here. Uh, and these holes are look intentionally burrowed out and such, I assume? Yes. They look natural, but there's no way that they formed naturally without some sort of outside force. Right. It's not as though they were harshly carved out or tacked on. They're interwoven and smooth. Hmm. Tucker will... As the group uh, either walks or decides what to do, he will actually sniff up at any of the nearby holes to kind of observe if there's any activity, because it does seem so still here. Basically, see if anyone's home. Uh, Are you going for a low hole, a root hole, or a tree hole? Um... Wait, what does low hole imply? What the the little hills? Oh, um, he will do. Yeah, he actually will examine the hill ones first. Is anybody else doing anything while Tucker is examining holes? Ah, uh, can I do another old thing? See if I can figure where the last shaman is. I will use odor sleuth on the hole. <laughs> The same old Tucker's looking at, or a different one? And Tucker's looking at. Okay. Okay. I mean, technically, so, what's what's the role for snoof, snoofing? Kind of the same as Odor Sleuth, isn't it? Uh, insect survival out. alert. But, but Odor, mm-hmm. Odor Sleuth has advantages for its use because yeah. it's... Wasn't I, allow, wasn't that, I allowed to do... specifically Snape. Wasn't it's I allowed to do nature? Scent-based. Oh, wasn't I allowed to do nature? I can't remember, though. Uh, Insight Survival Nature. Uh, Alert, you're specifically seeking out, you know, something in your perception. Mm -hmm. Your immediate area. Scent, sound, tactile sensation. Yeah, that's why That's why Odor Sleuth is good if you're seeking out a scent of some kind. Mm -hmm. Um, Nature in particular is generally knowledge of geography, plants, etc., Ah, uh, Tucker's just trying to see if there's if he goes, picks up the scent of anything around, basically, and while well, inspecting the holes. Yeah, but uh, uh, Tucker has odor to lose uh, as yeah, well. Yeah, he does. So am I just basically doing the odor sleuth roll? Yes, and while you two are doing okay. that, uh, wait, Riley, what? Did, Riley did a ping, right? Yes. Riley, do your ping. 
Oh, look, we got the same roll. Come on, give me a three. Yeah. I will read Brooke's thing in just a moment. Riley, when you ping, you can feel the aura of the shaman up ahead towards the end of the root ramp. Hmm. It seems to lead to some sort of larger area that's walled in in a natural fashion. Walled in, eh? Yeah. Walls covered in moss, vines, lichen, hanging plants. Hmm. Okay. Brooke observes the area with a bit of perhaps uncharacteristic reverence. Compared to the rest of the forest, this place looks amazing. Which honestly just makes me more worried about how much shaman's pushing themselves. Hmm. So, Ralph and Tucker, you know, well, you've got the same role, <laughs> As you sniff around at one of the hill holes, <clears throat> it smells like flowers. You can't quite place it. And it's not quite just flowers. But on closer inspection, as you shift and move to get a better look inside, you notice there's... There's a small form in the center of the hut. It's still. Hmm. It doesn't move, but it's not as though there's a smell of death here. Almost like it's asleep. Hmm. I'm guessing given their identical role, both Ralph and Tucker are noticing this at the same time. Ellipses. Hmm? I keep having to say that today. <laughs> Sorry. Why? That's just my clever way of saying nobody's answering me. <laughs> I I did a me again. You I did it, it, distracted. It's okay. I heard somebody in, your, in the background chatting you up for the sound of it. I got not even included in this freaking whole examining situation. <laughs> I've I got other things to do. <laughs> It's a what do we smell in the hole? I well, uh, we that was just gone over, Ralph. It, oh, it, it's fine. I, 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 got I was I was so. literally listening too. I, oh. I don't know. Uh, there seems to be a still form I of. Didn't even... There seems to be a still form of a. Uh, it's it's a shaman, right? I mean, it's a small form, but hmm. you have to assume it's a shaman. You haven't seen many other Pokemon as pre prevalently here, uh, aside right, from the correct uh, ones. Can we reach in and get it, or do you think we'll hurt? Tiger kind of gives uh, Ralph a side glance as he thinks. Uh, hold on. And then he uh, kind of tentatively steps into the den just a little bit. Um, and then says, Hi! Hi! Are you okay? There's no response, and the form does not stir. Hmm. After a concerned pause, uh, Tucker steps forward kind of slowly, glancing around the little den as he does so, just in case there's anything dangerous in here. He doubts it, given the circumstances, but he, uh, gets up closer to the little form. If despite it regardless of if it's dark or not in here, he could definitely see what it is getting closer. The small form is 
indeed a shaman. It looks unconscious, but unfortunately, the moss upon its back is almost a brackish color. An ugly green-brown. Whatever flowers it once bore are now nothing more than withered husks of what they were. Hmm. But you can tell, almost instinctively, it's not dead. If it were dead, you probably wouldn't have even noticed it was there. It probably would have simply returned to the earth long ago. <laughs> Tucker expresses a... Um, before... Almost going to try to move it, but then ultimately decide that might be a bad idea. He steps out of the uh, little den a little dejectedly and looks over to Ralph. It's a shame and all right. But it doesn't look very good. It's not waking up. It's it's not dead, but I I have a peckerberry left. I smush it up and drip the juice into it. Actually, Tucker does have a revive receipt as well. Uh, he will nod to Ralph though. All right. Maybe it'll help. It's the best uh, I got. So he mashes it up and... T Tucker probably takes it from you because this is a quadruped's den and it's probably a little easier for him to access. So he will attempt to feed the piece of berry to the shaman. Solid or mashed? Um... It Oh. Well, hang on. I, I like, thought that was a question. Ralph, Ralph, like, uh, Ralph like cuts a slit into it so that he can squeeze its juice into its mouth. Oh. Uh, well. Tucker can manage that even with his little paws. Hold on. To uh, get the juice, I mean, out. Even as you attempt to feed this shaman. A curative. It doesn't seem to take. It doesn't drink. And even holding it, you can't feel breath. Mm. It's like a stasis, much like the rest of the area. Unfortunately, pouring the petcha berry juice onto it only results in a slightly sticky trickle along the shaman's face. A well-meaning gesture, but unfortunately this time, it doesn't look like it'll do the trick. Hmm. Tucker droops his ears and tell, and leaves the uh, peshaberry next to the shaman, just in case. He looks back up to Ralph and says, It's not helping. I... I don't think it... It's not dead, but it doesn't seem very alive either. Okay, I was only away for uh, a bit. I'm back now. <sighs> Exasperated side. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Well, you did say he was going away. Oh, I yeah. didn't hear that. I, I, okay. Yeah. I accidentally, <laughs> when I was shopping, I accidentally got cinnamon colgate instead of regular colgate. I just grabbed red because that's colgate's color is red. <laughs> I got this awful tasting cinnamon toothpaste. How dare you? I like that toothpaste. Uh, also, what did you miss then? What was the last thing you caught? Uh, we were feeding the berry to the shaman. Um, unfortunately, even cutting it so that the berry juice can be dripped into the shaman's mouth, it doesn't take it doesn't even seem to breathe, despite not being dead, as if it's in a stasis. All that ended up being done is there's a slightly sticky trickle on its face. Um, can I um, do... There's a bit can more. Can I do CPR? There's a bit more. 
Um, I'll explain the rest. Uh, Tucker left the berry next to its mouth just in case, even though nothing's really going on. And he came out very adroop and expressed to you, expressed to Ralph, that it isn't helping, and it, though it's not dead, it doesn't seem very alive either. And there you go, now you're caught. Uh, all right. Uh, and, uh, I will attempt CPR. Can I attempt CPR on the shaman? You're attempting to stabilize the shaman. Okay. Wait. Where is stabilize? Stabilize an ally. Dexterity. Knowledge medicine. Which... Uh... For you would be... Dexterity... Yeah, dexterity, smart logic. We'll just have to figure out what's making this happen and stop it, Burke says, giving Tucker a pat for trying. That's about all we can do. Hmm. Stay alive. Alas, unfortunately for all your knowledge, Ralph, you're aware that your body is unsuitable for gentler actions, especially on smaller Pokemon, such as mm. would be required for CPR here. You're not even certain how their physiology works entirely, if this stasis right. is natural or induced. So we will just gently leave it there. Uh, if it's... Maybe, maybe put fresh leaves under it. If it's like laying on a bed, hmm. very we'll sweet. Give it, yeah, we'll give it fresh bedding. And... The shaman now has fresh bedding. <laughs> also, I'm sorry, but when I imagine Ralph doing CPR to a shaman, I imagine him picking it up and then just squeezing it, kind of like a squeaky toy, in his hands, just pressing his thumbs against its underside and making it squeak. <laughs> I'm a monster. <laughs> you would probably have to use his thumbs to, to CPR it. Uh, 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 and then, like, blow with, like, a tenth that you could blow. I, I'm going to interject something uh, in response to Brooke. Uh, while, while Ralph does what he it can do, but even though it's not much, he just kind of... He kind of nudges against Brooke and nods a bit, a bit quietly. I hope we can fix this. Riley, notably with his aura sixth sense, is not doing anything with the uh, shaman burrows. <laughs> That might speak more than any action. Hmm. So, Riley's facing uh, a wall, if I recall. I'm facing, like, the, not the wall. Like, the... Like, the, the path off, oh, really. But I was barricaded, facing right? facing the... No, it's not barricaded. It oh. leads up to an area that seems like it's... Uh, got walls around it. Oh. That's walled in. It's not walled in as in inaccessible, That, but that... It is surrounded by walls. Like it's a fortified area or something. But it's not like blocked off, just fortified. Kind of like a, a camp with walls around it or something. Let's keep moving. The sooner we find what we need, the better. Rally will lead the way. <laughs> Thanks, Sirio. Hey, you know Sirio's picture? <laughs> he just did a casual thing. Yeah, he put the outline on it, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, m word to note about trying to make me put up images of tabletop Sirio. If it has transparent background, it's not going to have that anymore when I put it in. <laughs> Yeah, it still has a transparent background, it just appears pure black. So, yeah. are the rest of you following Riley? Yeah, Brooke so, is. Brooke sounds like he is, and 
Tucker's ready yeah. to too. Yeah, after I put in the fresh bedding and make sure the uh, berries still next to him, I uh, will follow. <laughs> Tucker does follow along, though he does kind of, for a moment he's distracted, glances at the other bros and wondering, is there one in every single one of them, just like that one? But he focuses before he gets himself too sad. That... That is a sad. From the sound of it, there sound like there's quite a few burrows. How many are there, would you have say? I don't know if I want to know. <laughs> I gotta ask the sad questions. No fewer than 16. Oh, God. We've only saved how many, Shaman? Three? <laughs> which account, which leaves 13 unaccounted for. Well, we, well 12 have, unaccounted 12, for. 12 unaccounted for. At We're least. We've saved four, haven't we? There's one on the beach. And the first one with the muck. And, and then, then the, the one in the pit of death. The one in the, the nightmare pit. Yeah. And that's three. That's all of them. He's right. Mm. And of course we can account probably for the corrupted one, but... Well, what? You mean the one you saved from... No, Mushroom I mean the one though? that the one that's a terrorist. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, I wanted to be sure. <laughs> also, the polluted flower would be... Ah, I had a feeling you'd say that. A moment, please, stream goers. Okay. First off, is everyone okay and can they hear? Mm hmm. Okay, okay. Maybe okay. Is there something back up? Yeah, I think we're all good. Okay. As you make your way up, the ramp. You pass by the walls and you find there what used to be jagged thick pieces of bark. This used to be the spot where an enormous tree was. What you're now standing in is a repurposed trunk. You have to wonder what caused the tree to fall or what took it down. spiraling into the center on the ground of what could be most accurately described as a central square of this shaman town or a plaza are flowers of various colors yet the closer to the center they are they wither and die same with the grass and moss green at first where you step but as you look towards the center where your target stands. It blackens and withers away. The shaman is waiting for you. Baleful, tired eyes gazing at the four of you. The flower at their neck seems larger than you remember. It pulsates. can practically see the miasma wisping off of its twisted petals. And yet, it does not touch anywhere that the shaman doesn't. You came. Of course you came. I bet they begged you. What did they offer you in return? Did they want my head? <laughs> They've already taken my home. Our home.
They scowl at you. Eyes narrowing to venomous violet slits. Not that I can expect any of you to understand. The lengths I have to go to. The lengths I will go to. What makes that town worth saving? They're hardly even Pokemon anymore. Oil, rust, waste, bone, rot. Toss to the ocean. Toss to us. But it's nothing that you have to see. Nothing they have to see. So why does it matter? Why does it matter if it hurts something that they cannot hear, that they cannot feel? Oh, they're monologuing. <laughs> I have a question for you, Cosmos. Yes. Can I still sense something else in there? In that shaman? Such as? Well, whatever the heck I sensed in there last time I tried to look in. <laughs> no. No, huh? At the hmm. very least, in this proximity, in this place, you can sense the shaman. But you don't sense whatever secondary presence you had before. Hmm. Can I sense that secondary presence somewhere that's not in the shaman? Not to your knowledge. Not to my knowledge, okay. Hmm. Maybe. The shaman, shaman takes a step forward. Their smile is thin, but unlike the husks, it is only a smile that they can make. Well, why else would you be here? You think you can stop? Right. You're right, Burke says. It should matter. We're not here to hunt you. We're here to understand you. Tucker chimes in as well. Everything we've seen here is terrible. We don't want this to be like this either. everything I can to fix it. The ground around the shaman writhes. Well now you have us to help you do everything you can. What can you do? Yo, I can do a lot of stuff. The dark pollution around the shaman lashes out. The black corruption spreads further and further from where they step. They take another stomping step forward towards all of you. Ralph steps forward as well, but his arms are out like for a hug. Oh my god. Oh no. Okay, I want to go grab him and pull him backwards. Probably a good idea. He has two health. <laughs> He's gonna die. He's... No, you idiot. I want, I want to die. <laughs> I'm I pulling you back. <laughs> you know, this is not a discussion. <laughs> let, let, I let hope that we will be your friend and help you out. 
with all of us together, we can do... No, I want him to turn the other way. Oh. We can do so much stuff. The shame includes We are different than other Pokemon. I can't explain to you how, but we are different. We can do things that they can't. We can make things happen. You, so you want to hug. Wow. He like crouches on one knee. Figured air, uh, quotations around knee, but he crouches on one knee. He's like holding out his arms, like to hug. Up. The shaman closes their eyes. Their smile fades for a moment. So that's what he meant. Well, I'll make sure he holds up his end. After all I've had to do. Their eyes snap open, a manic grin on their face. If that's how it's going to be. If you're not going to make them leave. If you're not going to leave. Then I'll make you understand. If you want to make us understand, then I have a question for you. Who is he, and what is the bargain you two have made? None of your business. What I've had to do... What I've been trying to fight... It's not as though any of you from the outside world care. These sweet honey lies. Friends? My friends have died and withered and suffered enough! We cared enough to come here. We didn't have to do that. We, we could have ran away. <laughs> Proves nothing. Nothing except you're either here to hunt me or try to persuade me to stop. I mean, we saved three of your your friends, so that's, that's got to count for something, don't it? The shaman's eyes narrow. Saved. Oh. Yes, one was in a one was in a hole of like you know, a very horrible pit that must have been a hundred feet deep. We dug down in there and got him and climbed back out. It's a fat sticky lime, okay. <laughs> of course. Of course they wouldn't understand. The shaman's eyes have closed again. They're stepping back. Beginning to float. You can see above you the sky darkens. The miasma has begun to get. Even in that wretched position. With what I've had to do, I can keep them safe like that. I suppose I should have known. They'll only suffer more out there. But that's okay. I can bring them back. They'll sleep. Just like before. Is that truly a life worth living? If that was your fate, how happy would you be with it? So long as I wasn't condemned to an eternal pain. Wonderful. After all, they won't have to stay that way very long. I've got just enough power. Just enough left. I'm going to wipe it all off. Wipe the slate. 
clean. And if that's not enough, mm -hmm. then I... Okay. But, maybe... Maybe you're right. But... You need to senseless to to kill more. What if we get a compromise? You give us enough time to evacuate the city, and then you can flat, and then all the Pokemon will have to live elsewhere, and there won't be a massive population in one spot. <laughs> so many warnings. So many times. You all must be truly ignorant. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm done talking to you. I'm done explaining. I've given my warnings. Give so give a hug, you'll feel better. Riley is going to go up to Ralph, put a hand on his shoulder, hold him back, and just do a little head shake. As you go to do that, the shaman with half lidded eyes frowns slightly. And you hear it speak. I don't care if you're chosen or not. And the miasma sharpens into a thousand venomous lances and begins to rain. Right. Um... Can I can I put up the aura shield thing I've been using this entire time to stop stop things falling on our heads? Okay. And we're going to end there. Ooh, what else? We've already know what that eight is. <laughs> I I had a whole freaking spiel I wanted to say. God damn it, car. <laughs> Should have let Ralph take oh. over then. It didn't take over. I was in the middle of. It. Of intervening and gonna say my thing, and then that was raining needles. Oh no! <laughs> God damn it! I was literally prepping this for two weeks. Yeah, if uh, I'm sorry. If, if I'm, it's I'm mad now. You will be per make sure you have that speech saved somewhere so you can do it next time. Uh, oh, we're gonna start with that. If this was an anime, it's like the needles trying to fall, and then like a really shocked close up of the main character's faces, and then just fades out. And next episode. Or, or, it's just the needles falling towards the camera and it goes to black. <laughs> or that. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, no. oh, man, if it's not, it's probably pretty obvious, but I relish taking huge ambles on what the I'll reaction be is. honest, I was very tempted to let you get away with it. <laughs> You were very close. The problem <laughs> is, it's not just the shaman doing things on their own. Okay, mm -hmm. experience time. Let's see. Hang on, let me look at the level of I get, I get kind of an adrenaline hit when I take these sort of risks. Oh, goodness. Let's see. Doo, doo, doo. So, four experience to each of you for the fight and victory. And yes, I was waiting till the end key. Ah, uh, one more picture. Sad picture. Oh. So how much was that? Four experience to each of you for the battle. Okay. Uh, Riley gets one extra experience because Lucky Egg. Yep. 
And... You know what, Ralph? I'm gonna award you a three experience for sticking to your guns there. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm also going to award you a logic. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, nice. I gotta say, that, that promise about having everybody evacuate and then the account could be destroyed was definitely a bit of a... a bit of a leap there, but... I mean, it's not exactly something we can arrange. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we have that power. <laughs> you tried. You freaking tried. Uh, I mean, with with the the what Pokemon can do, you could evacuate a town safely inside of a couple of days. You get a, you get psychic types teleporting back and forth, and oh, it's Pokemon not the logistics really that's the problem. Yeah, it's more convincing everyone to do it. It's the convincing literally everyone that affects that's the problem. Part of the issue with doing that Stay is that forces them to all uproot their lives. Lives that they've become very comfortable with. And making them go elsewhere and live differently. Yeah. And despite all the decadence and like luxury stuff that exists in Sea Spray, it's still a very important port for the Plains continent, and this would adversely affect Savant Town heavily. Yes. And it's not as though Sea Spray is like, uh, what, what's a hugely polluted city? New York City? Yeah, that's a decent example, I'd say. Uh, yeah, like, I apologize to anyone who's from New York. And Fuck New York! No, I just like... <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> no, nice. I, I, I have some yeah, but it's, it's not like Damn New York it. City where the pollution is freaking palpable every single day. No, this is, as has been explained before, this is something that is built up steadily over time and has gotten worse as, as Sea Spray has expanded and become much more of a trading hub. And yeah. unfortunately, this is something that Pokemon are kind of new to. Yeah, so they probably don't have up they to don't snuff generally sanitation. They have measures in place. There are Pokemon that act as natural measures in place, but those Pokemon aren't here in Sea Spray generally. For instance, the recycle versions of uh, Grimers and Muck, they're nowhere to be found here. Yeah, yeah, we haven't. Yeah, pretty much the same problems humanity first faced when it started getting bigger cities and, like, didn't have the means of keeping them sanitary. See, the Industrial Revolution, basically. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, like when... Yeah. Oh, man, and, like, when, um... When, uh drainage systems were like hooked into just rain dra uh, rain drainage systems but then like cities would expand and it wasn't enough anymore so yeah. the city had to backpedal before it kept overflowing <laughs> yeah the biggest infrastructure that existed in, in uh, the PMD world before this was Lively Town which while fairly big Sea Spray definitely trumps Plus, in some ways, technologies have advanced and such. In a few ways. Um, but yeah, what? Really great session. Sorry again for the breakup, though YouTube will probably not be bothered by it because I will now be spending the next five hours probably splicing those two parts together. <sighs> so, Please get some sleep, turn. At some point. <laughs> It, at a decent time. It has to be spliced together and then uploaded to YouTube and then processed before tomorrow when it would normally release, so it has to be done all right now. Um, it's okay, I'll be okay. Just cross your fingers that Dolby doesn't fucking crash on me. It did this one time with a big video, it was made me very sad. It wasn't an important video though, so it was less of an issue. Heh. Well, I'm gonna go to bed. Yes, that's understandable. <laughs> 
So, the mecha tabletop I mentioned earlier. Oh, sorry. Have you done an outro yet? Um, no. Want me to do an outro now? <laughs> yeah, go ahead and do All an right. outro before I start gushing about things. So, uh, well, as I always say, guys, episode the next episode of Poker Roll, episode 36, will be two Wednesdays from now. So do come for that to see what the hell happens with the whole, with this whole reign of lances that's happening and more. Uh, aside from that, there will be a stream on Friday, uh, as usual. I, I, I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing that day. I'll figure it out. Uh, I have a hunch what I might do, actually, considering one that one table that I worked on is done. Uh, says Essler. I will have to check and see, like, verify what Essler has done, though, which I was going to do tonight, which I still probably will do tonight, but I gotta do that video editing first, so eh. But yeah, catch me on Friday. Poke rolls in two weeks on the next Wednesday. And you guys all have a good night. Um, no raid tonight. I don't have time for it. Sorry. <laughs> but yes, you guys have a great night, and I will see you Friday. Woo! Mm.